All right, welcome to the Star Wars Night Steel Republic. Um, let me actually check if the sound levels are okay. I think maybe the music is a little bit too loud. So, we'll just adjust it downwards a little bit. And hope it is reasonably loud and so we'll start just a wait um gameplay difficulty let's put it, put it difficult auto save okay combat movement is reasonable um Okay, seems good, seems good. So let's start a new game. So what um what do we wanna be? We want a male or female character. We can be a fighter, maybe an explorer or a rogue. And unfortunately, everything is very small. I didn't quite get the mod that makes the um, UI bigger to work. Um, what do we want? Um, the custom character. Change our appearance. Yeah, it's portrait. How do we want to look? Maybe like this. Let's go with this. Attributes. Okay, so what? Uh, what are all these attributes? So we want. Strength is good for melee. Alright, so we want that because we're gonna become a Jedi eventually. We want to fight with lightsabers, so we want strength. Alright, and now it costs two points, so we definitely went up to 14. Dexterity is um, for ranged attacks, increases the character's defense rating. Constitution. Okay, it's probably pretty important as well. Int is um, number of points a character has to spend on essential skills. That seems uh, pretty useful. Charisma, um, well, for main character, Charisma is probably also pretty high. What do they recommend here? Yeah, I don't, I don't think we need that much dexterity. I'm gonna go down here. Um, I think it always uses the Charisma for our main character, so we wanna put at least 14 here. Um, it's season 14 strength maybe like this it seems like reasonable this way we're not paying too much for our skill points um go with this skills all right what do we want Injury, um, that seems useful. You actually have a lot of skill points. You have so much int. 
Um, health, awareness, Wade. All right, let's do this. Why female? I don't know, just felt like it. What, uh, I don't actually know what, what is good here. It's been so long since I actually played this. Um, stealth, I don't stealth, awareness. Take this, um... What is this? Security spikes. Once you can invest this point in skill, it comes with the default options on targeted doors. So we can open like doors and such. Seems useful. Um so many points. Let's do awareness and demolitions maybe you can like detect mines and such and i hope we have some other characters that can use computers okay let's go with this beats um okay these are like extra talents Okay. We have one point remaining. What is this? Blue wielding. Heavy armor. What is this? Extra attack during the round. Alright, we cannot uh, deselect this. Yeah, whatever. All right, let's let's be better with attack. With attacking with melee weapons. Okay. Name. I am of course the Jedi known as Yon Gun. Uh, let's play. Okay. Long time ago, in a galaxy very pixelated. Wait, is it playing the video? Maybe the video is not 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 uh, working here. That would suck. Sometimes with these older games, it uh, doesn't quite work on uh, um, with OBS. So we will try this. Does it work now? I'm not sure. I think it doesn't work either actually it's still, still still has some time to catch up okay now it works okay okay knights of the old republic four thousand years before the rise of the galactic empire the republic verges on collapse darth malak last surviving apprentice of the dark lord revan has unleashed an invincible sith armada upon an unsuspecting galaxy Crushing all resistance, Malak's war of conquest has left the Jedi Order scattered and vulnerable as countless knights fall in battle and many more swear allegiance to the new Sith Master. 
In the skies above the outer rim world of Taris, a Jedi battle fleet engages the forces of Darth Malak in a desperate effort to halt the Sith's galactic domination. I guess that's our ship being attacked. And it's falling towards the planet. by a Sith battle fleet. The Endar Spire is under attack. Hurry up, we don't have much time. Hold on, um, is the stream still going? Yeah, because um, YouTube says that there's, that I have a bit rid of zero, but going to OBS, everything is fine. I've got zero dropped frames. So I think it's still working. Um... And we also should probably switch to this again. There we go. Um, left this answer to select select the response. Okay. Um, I'm Trask Olgo, ensign with the Republic fleet. I'm your bunkmate here on the Endar Spire. We work opposite ships. I guess that's why you haven't seen me before. Now hurry up. We have to find Bastila. We have to make sure she makes it off the ship alive. Interesting that they have uh, men and women in the same bunks. Okay. Um... Bastil is the commanding officer on the Endar Spire. Well, not an officer, really. But she's the one in charge of this mission. One of our primary duties is to guarantee her survival in the event of an enemy attack. You swore an oath just like everyone else on this mission. Now it's time to make good on that oath. I heard what everyone's saying about you. You've explored the farthest reaches of the galaxy. Actually, um, these like adjustments here. And this is blocking. I'll put myself over here and make myself big. You there you go. Planets I've never even heard of. People with your skills and abilities are hard to find. It's no wonder the Republic recruited you for this mission. But now's the time to prove yourself. I know you're a scout and not a soldier. But Bastila needs all troops at her side during this attack. Wait, did not select? Oh, I actually selected scout. I think I wanted to select, select soldier. Whatever. Doesn't matter. So hurry up and grab your gear. You need to suit up so we can get out of here. Nice. And what do we suit up? Where's our equipment? Oh, there it is. All right. Um. Yellow fever? No? Okay, you have this cardio package implant with extra one constitution. Okay, why not? Do you have anything for head or hands? Some more clothing. Oh, this is like uh, arm protection. Okay, I see. So, use our broad sword. All right. Uh, 
All right. Um, let's save the game. Okay. Okay, let's move out. We should stick together. You'll have more success with a party than on your own. Okay. Okay. Because of the attack, this room is in lockdown. But don't worry, I've got the override codes. You'll have to use me to unlock the door. Um, how do we, how do we do that? There's a hotkey for that. Now that the door is open, you better take the lead again. Let's actually look at uh, here the gameplay, key mapping. Okay. U and E. Okay. The tab we can change who's the uh, selected. Right. Um, we'll change that. Quick save is supposed to be on five. It's F F nine. Alright, uh, okay. Uh, okay. This is Cardinal Nasty. The Sith are threatening to overrun our position. We can't hold out long against their firepower. All hands to the bridge! That was Karth contacting us on our portable communicators. He's one of the Republic's best pilots. He's seen more combat than the rest of the Endar Spire's crew put together. If he says things are bad, you better believe it. We have to get to the bridge to help defend Bastila. There's a map of the Endar Spire and a copy of Karth's message in your electronic journal, just in case we get separated. Thank you, Captain uh, Exposition. How would I use that? Let's move out. John is the J, okay. As you would expect. Okay, let's go. Pitching around here, nice. People. That door is locked, and I don't have the codes to open. You'll have to use your security skill on it if we want to get past. I have that, right? On it. Done. He's easy. Sith must be the advanced boarding party for the Republic. All right, we will attack with the flurry. Okay. Last battle with the Sith. Good thing we have med packs to heal our wounds. It might be a good idea to use one now before our next battle. Alright, so I'm already half HP, so. How do we use this thing? Is it like some sort of quick access thing? Yeah, that's, it's down there, it's just very small. Alright, we are all better now. Yo, can we loot something here? No. Alright, it's an invisible wall. Nothing here. Alright, we go. Uh, what? Come on. Right. 
All right, this is actually actually really taking a lot of damage. Maybe we should use the uh, ranged weapons instead. No, no, all my, all my stats are for, for melee weapons. How much? What can I see? I've got... What is this, 10 HP? We could way more. Whoa. Yeah, we're like completely pathetic. We've got like, no damage. Maybe we should... Do we have any melee weapon for this guy? No. Let's let's lead with him. Get items. What? Uh, get items. Get items. Um, what are the? Okay, he's got um, pretty good strength too. All right, so let's give him. Long sword. And let's give our now our main character should, should still use the sword. She's all about melee. That's like zero HP. I don't get how she has so low HP. Eighty percent menu, twenty percent gameplay. Yeah, just at the beginning, I'm just figuring out how things work. Like I, I actually like um, started playing this this game like a little bit. Um, uh, like two years ago, three years ago, but I don't remember anything really. Who was the throw a grenade? Go in there. Go in there. Alright, another power attack. Right, at least these guys die fairly quickly. More remains here. Parts pile? Okay, it's just empty. Uh, can we. No, we cannot go through there. Where are we going? Door. Can we go lead with him? It's a dark Jedi. This fight is too much for us. We better stay back. All we do is get in the way. Okay. Can I start granting about Star Wars? I can start now. That was one of the Jedi accompanying Bastor. Damn, we could have used your help. I will. Hello? Go in there? Hmm? And now we go in. Yeah, 
So, of course, in the start, the combat is not that uh, engaging. All pretty basic still. I think it does get better later on when you have like more characters and uh, more powers and so on. Uh, let me just try to get my bearings a bit in this game and then we'll talk about Star Wars a bit. Right there. This guy is so strong. Basically solo carrying everything. Here on the bridge. They must have retreated to the escape pod. We better head that way too. The Sith want Bastila alive, but once she's off the ship, there's nothing stopping them from blasting the Endar Spire into galactic dust. Don't get this. That's a lot of remains. Wait, what are you supposed to do? Oh, we can level up. Alright, you get some skills. You get so many skills. Um... I think I already have enough um, bit entry that I'm basically full healing anyway. Really, there has to be someone else who's like good at computers. I can't do anything on my everything on my main character. Um, get some. Do this. Um, yeah, let's, let's do some repair. Beats, we get one extra point. Anything that makes us tank here? One extra vitality point every time they level up. Alright, let's do this. I'm gonna be already much tank, you know. Um, where are we supposed to go now? Where we came from? Kind of annoying that uh, everything gets blocked in this game. Is mustard seal, mustard seed oil healthy or tastes good? I don't think I've ever had mustard seed oil. Hmm? All right, we can't open this. Where do we go here? Yes, I pretty much always just use olive oil for basically everything. Something like olive oil and butter. Damn, another dark Jedi. I'll try to hold him off. You get to the escape pods. Go! Not so much for him. Oh, this is uh, where you get disorienting sometimes. Alright. Alright. There you go. 
This is Carthel Nassi on your personal communicator. I'm tracking your position through the Endar Spire's life support systems. Basilisk escape pod is away. You're the last surviving crew member on the Endar Spire. Now, I can't wait for you much longer. You have to get to the escape pods. Yeah, how George Lucas is the genius and how New Star Wars is bad? Well, but what a lot of people... It, 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 it's especially um, uh, egregious with the prequels where a lot of people just uh, criticize them in very, very unfair ways when um, they talk, for example, about the dialogue being really, really bad. And there's like some bad dialogue in, in, in the prequels. Like, to be fair, also in the original trilogy. Um, like, for example, this one in, in uh, Return of the Sith. Uh, it's like, uh, um, what is it? Uh, you're so beautiful. Oh, it's only because I'm so much in love with you. No, I'm in love with you. And like, okay, that's bad. But some of the other stuff that people sometimes say, like, like the I don't like sand line. Like, not, nothing wrong with that. Makes perfect sense. Um, and it, it's also just that, that uh, George Lucas uses a different different uh oh okay i'm dead okay uh auto save let's load this this is carthel nasi on your personal okay, can we... i'm tracking your position basilisk and... escape pod is a... okay so i'm full hp now Let's try to throw a grenade. And let's use blurry. Alright, took him out. Yeah, so... The way George Lucas uses time is also quite uh, different from like a lot of the way that um, you know quote unquote good dialogue is supposed to be according to certain people. Can you actually move? There we go. I think the way George um, Lucas has put it is that. Uh, um, often he uses dialogue almost like a sound effect. He's never watched Star Wars movie to completion? Oh, you should definitely watch, I, I think you definitely recommend you watch like 1 through 6. They're really good. And let this, it, it's like uh, Star Wars is just like a basically like like a um, work of art that sort of works as uh, as a whole. The you know the uh, the visuals and the music and so on they work really well together. How um, we prepare droids? Okay. Reactivated. We've got active droid shields, engage droid in patrol mode. Okay. Let's do this and now. All right. Gonna be patrolling. What is this padding? We'll take this guy. Oh, actually, I forgot to use a uh, med pad. Can, can I use this in combat? Actually, alright. 
Oh, you need some effect. Let's just t let this guy tank. Really speed when, when this guy kills something? I'm not sure. Ooh, we got a vibro blade. Um, is this one to ten? One to six? Let's just do the vibro blade. You've made it just in time. There's only one active escape pod left. Come on, we can hide out on the planet below. Isn't she supposed to be working on the ship or something? I don't know. I'm a soldier with Republic, like you. We're the last two crew members left in the Ender Spire. Vassal's escape pod's already gone, so there's no reason for us to stick around here and get shot by the Sith. Now, come on, there'll be time for questions later. All right, let's follow him. Wait, step away from the escape pod? <laughs> what happened if I do that? Okay, it just means we're not leaving quite yet. Alright, let's go. Can you can you see this uh this cutscene now? Anyway, we're escaping to the with the escape pod. No one shots shoots it down even though the life forms on, on board. Yeah, maybe I just need to permanently switch to um to just using screen capture. Good to see you up instead of thrashing about in your sleep. You must have been having one hell of a nightmare. I was wondering if you were ever gonna wake up. I'm Karth, one of the Republic soldiers from the Endar Spire. I was with you in the escape pod. Do you remember? I would never remember what? Right, um, let's just uh, put this onto um, screen capture. It's fine. Let's have over here. Uh, let's go. Um, but is this the best way there is to put me? There's also text on the top. Um, do I place myself here? Let's try this. Okay. You've been slipping in and out of consciousness for a couple of days now, so I imagine you're pretty confused about things. What's been leaked? We're safe. At least for the moment. We're in an abandoned apartment on the planet of Terrace. We ended up pretty bad when our escape pod crashed, but luckily I wasn't seriously hurt. I was able to drag you away from our crash site and Fusion, and I stumbled into this abandoned apartment. By the time the Sith arrived on the scene, we were long gone. You don't have to thank me. I've never abandoned anyone on a mission, and I'm not about to start now. Besides, I'm gonna need your help. Terrace is under Sith control. Their fleet is orbiting the planet. They've declared martial law, and they've imposed a planet-wide quarantine. Little games, yes. But I've been and using the, the GOG I saw version. I service records that you understand a remarkable number of alien languages. That's pretty rare in a raw recruit. But it should come in handy while we're stranded on a foreign world. There is no way the Republic will be able to get anyone through the Sith blockade to help us. If we're going to find Bastila and get off this planet, we can't rely on anybody but ourselves. That smack to your head did more damage than I thought. Bastila's a Jedi. She was with the strike team that killed Darth Revan, Malak's Sith Master. Bastila's the key to the whole Republic war effort. The Sith must have found out that she was on the Ender Spire. 
and set an ambush for us in this system. I believe Bastila was on one of the escape pods that crashed down here on Terrace. For the sake of the Republic war effort, we have to try and find her. Bastila is no ordinary Jedi. She has a rare gift the Jedi call battle meditation. Basila's power can influence entire armies. Through the Force, Basila can inspire her allies with confidence and make her enemies lose their will to fight. Often that's all it takes to tip the balance of the battle. Of course there are limits to what she can do, but from what I understand of her ability, it requires great concentration and focus to maintain her battle meditation. The attack on the Endar Spire happened so fast, she never had a chance to use her Too many words and characters. Like us, she barely got out alive. Bastila is going to need our help. Many of Darth Malak's followers can use the dark side of the Force, and the Sith have already killed more than their share of Jedi in this war. Nobody will be looking for a couple of common soldiers like us, and if we're careful, we can move about the planet without attracting notice. A luxury Bastila won't have. She's going to have half the Sith fleet looking for her. They know how important she is to the war effort. The whole planet is under quarantine. No ships can land or take off. So if Bastila is going to escape Terrace, she's going to need our help. And we'll probably need hers. All right. While you were out, I did some scouting around. There are reports of a couple of skate pods crashing down into the Undercity. It's probably a good place to start. But the Undercity is a dangerous place. We don't want to go there unprepared, and it won't do Basil any good if we go and get ourselves killed. Good idea. We can use this abandoned apartment as a base. We can probably get some equipment and supplies here in the Upper City. Just remember to keep a low profile. I've heard some grim stories about the Dark Jedi interrogation techniques. They say the Force can do terrible things to a mind. Wipe away your memories and destroy your very identity. But I figure if we don't do anything stupid, we should be okay. I mean, after all, we're, we're looking for Basila, not a couple of grunts like us. Basilisk, the Zips, and the Empire. Right, soldier, let's move out. Okay. Oh, is he not our party member? Yes, what's on your mind? You got it. Okay. Ah, okay, when we leave the apartment, we select our party. Alright. Right, you alien scum. Everybody, get up against the wall. This is a raid. That's how we sit deep with smart mouth aliens. Now, the rest of you, get up against the wall before I lose my temper again. What's this? Humans hiding out with aliens? They're Republic fugitives! Attack! Okay. That was easy. Okay, um, want some concession for this patrol? That's a good thing to ask. Okay, he's gonna move the bodies. Don't run against again for a while. Okay. Ooh, some nice items. We can level up again. Level up, skills. What do they recommend? I really want us to get this computer used. Actually... Oh, I can't cancel it. I wanted to look what, uh, what skills our friend has. This weight, I think, is important. Mm 
Do I buy books? Yes, usually not physical books, but I do buy books. Um, oh, it costs two. Oh, this is not a class skill. Okay. Oh, all right, all right, all right. This is a class skill. It's also a class skill, but not security. It's not a class skill, so more expensive. This is a cross class skill. All right, but it's it, we need to put this on our, on our main character. Okay. Um, all right, now, actually, I don't want to, let's do this, beats, um, plus one skill point, one is to persuade awareness and treat injury, seems pretty useful for this. What does Karth have? Wait, how? Oh, yes, he doesn't know how to use computers at all. He has no skills? Okay, awareness, repair, security, with injury. He's not very skill skillful. Most prop proprietary knowledge is immoral. Okay. What do you mean by that? Tong hait wam jiji jung lumpa. Nita poe tikito. Dolpa da bongwaleo gandona chu chut. Kachi chu ita dundonga. You malita kuto dun. It's been nice to him. How is George Lucas the genius? Because he created all of Star Wars, basically from from scratch. It's just, how, how, how often do you see something like this just created from scratch as a, mov a movie that's like not um, not an adaptation of anything else? Uh, and it created a whole new like look for for science fiction and uh, for, for, for space opera. And, um, and he, he's, 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 he's also, of course, uh, like really good at, like, business. He um, immediately saw the, the importance of, um, of merchandising, for example. As he made a ton of money from that. Um, and um, he was uh, like he's, he's just like a really talented director that doesn't really fit into the who's, who's not you know doing what everyone else is doing he's doing sort of his own thing and um, did everything myself obviously he didn't do everything by himself yeah of course I had a lot of talented people working with him that is alien language, yes. Alright. Um Alright, um you only have eighty five credits, which I think is not a lot. Given that Everything here is more expensive except for the med pack. Or we have one of these guys. And what, what can we sell here? Sell some of these guys. 
Oh, I've got a lot of money actually. We should sell some stuff. Almost as alien as the Oculus language, yes. <laughs> All right, let's um combat suit. Ooh. Plus 5 dexterity. Um It's probably better on him, the extra dexterity. The blaster pistol is one to six damage. Oh, iron is good against against uh, droids. All right, don't have any upgrades here. Okay. Why is my beard cut so short? It's not that short. Right, um... Okay, it's the upper city. Up to this person. No. No. Mule Rachi? Can we do this? On it. Done. Alright. Maybe we can just break into things and no one cares. Hey there, what well, what watch where you're walking, I just clean though. My name's Kadir, I'm the janitor for this building. You must be the new technique. Mm. You look like an off worlder. What happened? You get stuck here because of the quarantine? Can't see any other Oh, George Lucas is bid. Don't know how much I can tell you, but seeing as how you're new here, I guess. Not much of an issue for me, you know. I ain't never prefer. Okay, probably not very important the stuff that he's. Don't know how much. Alright. Let's go. Probably not very important to talk to this person. Just still standing at the crime scene. On it. Done. Who are you? What are you doing in here? You can't just come barging into someone's home. I'm the player player character. I can do what I want. <laughs> just looking at some steel. That's no excuse. You can't just go around barging into people's apartments because you're curious. But at least you're more polite than that pig Holden. Just one of Darvik's men who can't keep his hands to himself. But all he got for his trouble was a nasty scar from my vibroblade. Too bad I'm the one still paying the price. I, I don't want to talk about it. I'm in enough trouble already. Besides, I don't know if I can trust you. No, I don't think so. I can't afford to trust anybody right now. Please. I can't help you there. Since this thing with Holden, I've been scared to leave my apartment. I don't know anything about what's going on in the outside world anymore. Just one of Dar- I, I Can we try this again? Is it like a chance based thing? Well, I suppose you oh, okay. like yeah, okay, right we just try it again. <laughs> when I cut Holden, it made him back off, but it also embarrassed him in front of his friends. Holden's a spiteful little hut slug. He went and put out a bounty on my head for what I did. That's why I'm hiding out here. I doubt it. Holden is one of Darvik's men. When you work for the local crime lord, the authorities tend to turn a blind eye. I'm afraid this is between me and Holden now. 
You like her accent? It's fine. Could try, I guess. He usually hangs out at the cantina in the lower city. It probably won't do any good. Holden's used to getting his own way. That's one of the fringe benefits of being a goon for Darvik. Working for the local crime lord lets you get away with things. Still, I appreciate the offer. Goodbye and good luck. I hope you can talk some sense into Holden. Eh? Can we just take something from the bag? Apparently we can just steal everything. There's no repercussions. Did you did you manage to get I guess I have no choice but Alright. We can just steal everything. Nice. Um we can do this as well. On it. See what's in here. Done. Take stuff from your bag. If you don't mind. That's right. That's right. On it. Done. Well, saves coming. I'm just using saves the way they are intended. All right. Um, I think we've done everything down here. How do we get out? I think that's the way. No, this is just uh, our apartment again. Okay. Oh, there's still some stuff here. Got some credits. That's the... Uh, um... That's a map, right? Okay, two opposite. There we go. Taurus used to be a nice place before the system. Diablo 4? I don't know if I want around. to play Diablo 4. Maybe I'll get it at some point. Uh, like given given the pricing, I don't I don't really wanna wanna buy the game at this point. You have this game that you pay like sixty euros for, and then you also have uh, like very expensive cosmetics and stuff like that. That uh, doesn't really subscribe to me. Davik says you missed your last payment. <laughs> what my phone? Not a cell phone game. A down payment. That should buy me some time, right? Sorry, you're out of time. Now it's all or nothing. David can't have people not paying his debts. But I don't have that much. How can I give you credits I don't have? <laughs> no, help! Somebody help! They're going to kill me! I know we have to be careful about drawing attention to ourselves, but... We can just let them drag this guy off? Hold on a second. Looks like we got ourselves a witness here. I mean, <laughs> they're doing this in the middle of broad daylight here. Um, what do we do here? I can bet Diablo 4 if you saw cool armor set you asked on the god which then which did he get that armor from what 
Diablo 4? No, we're talking about the... Uh, that, uh, what is it called? The uh, Immortal. Diablo 4 is a normal PC game, right? saving me from those bounty hunters so unless you have a spare 100 credits to give me so i can pay off davik there's nothing else you can do do we give him that are we gonna be that nice let's be nice it's usually a good policy in these games giving me 100 credits just like that i i don't know what to say thank you thank you you're giving him 100 credits Generous. Now I can pay off Davik. You've saved my life. Thank you. I'd better take these credits to him right away. Okay. Um, yeah. Probably I'm looting here is going to be, you know, it's going to be worth 100 credits. Actually, exactly 100 credits. Okay. <laughs> um, you know, the Diablo, uh, all cool sets were in hardest part of, dun of toughest dungeons. It's not really true. I mean, you uh, like in Diablo 2, for example, you can get uh, uh, th there's like certain um, areas, there's like some regular uh, low level dungeon um, that's um, that's the highest item level and it can drop all the items. Like, what is it called? Um, this is one. Uh, I forgot what it's called. Somewhere, somewhere like Act One, some sort of random dungeon that's really, really, is not, there's nothing important there. I think it's called the Pit, like the Pit. Um, I think that's what it's called. Um, where we just max item level and can drop everything. Therefore, um, so you don't necessarily have to go to the um, to like really tough dungeons to get good stuff. Um, but uh, as, as far as I'm aware, Diablo 4 doesn't, isn't really paid to win. I think you can only buy like cosmetic stuff. But I hadn't actually played Can't the game, so I'm not sure. With my duties. Go talk to Zelka if you need something. I think it's uh, it's like the Diablo Immortal where you really have to pay like lots of money to play it properly. I see from your appearance that you are an off-worlder. Still, you are welcome here. I'll not have it said that Selka Foreign refused to oh, help so that you're off, off well of Terrace. Do you require healing or medical supplies? I can treat almost any injury or ailment right here at the medical facility. Except the rat ghoul disease, of course. Of course. The terrible affliction has plagued Terrace for many generations. It is spread by the rat ghouls, horrible monsters that live in the Undercity below Terrace's great skyscrapers. Prolonged exposure to the Undercity breeds the disease, and those infected will eventually mutate into rat ghouls themselves, becoming mindless beasts that feed on the flesh of others. Mm, there is no antidote for the disease, though I heard the Republic scientists at the military base here on Terrace were close to perfecting a cure. Then the Sith arrived. They overran the military base, and now they refuse to allow anyone access to the laboratories inside. The Sith are keeping all the serum for the patrols they send into the Undercity. If I could just get my hands on a sample of that serum, the Rat Ghoul disease could be wiped from the face of Terrace forever. I don't see how that's going to happen. Well, maybe I will fulfill this quest. I don't see how anyone could get their hands on that serum. The military base is crawling with Sith guards. Breaking in there would be a suicide mission. I suppose the Sith patrols in the Undercity might have a sample of the serum on them if they hadn't already used it because of a Rat Ghoul infection. But I doubt a patrol would just hand the serum over. And nobody is stupid enough to attack one of the Sith patrols, even in the Undercity. Please, don't say that! If the Sith hear you, they might think I'm suggesting you start attacking their patrols. They could shut me down. I only mentioned the serum because you asked. 
What is Mba Tsukam? Is there anything else I can do for you? It will just take me a moment while I examine your injuries and then I'll administer the proper treatment. Okay. HP again. How many med packs do we have? Eleven. That should be fine. Let me just run around. You know, on this. Okay. You there? Wait a minute. I need to talk to you about the rat gold serum. I've got an offer for you. You might want to hear. Zelka isn't the only one who wants to get his hands on the Rat Ghoul serum. Davik Kang will pay you ten times what Zelka can if you can get the cure. Oh, come on. Everybody knows who Davik Kang is. He's the big boss around here. Gambling, smuggling, extortion. He's got a piece of all the action on Taris. Davik's interested in anything that can turn a profit. He could make a fortune selling the serum to anyone infected with the disease. Not like Zelka, who'll practically give it away. Hmm, I'll just deny it. Who's Zelka gonna believe? Me or some off-world stranger? Be smart about this. You'll get a better deal selling to Davik. Um. Look, Zelka can't afford <clears throat> to pay me much. If you sell the serum to Davik, I can probably get a nice finder's fee for directing you to him. And then only the rich could afford the cure. Just let the poor suffer. If you find the Rat Ghoul Serum, just take it to Zax in the Lower City Bounty Office. He works for Davik. He'll pay you what that cure is really worth. Why can't we just give it to both? Alright. What? Oh, there was an autosave, I guess. So, where do we go here? Oh, this is where we come from, right? But... Everything is dark here in the middle, so I think um, this is a different. Yeah, okay, this is different. On it. Done. Please, please don't hurt me. You don't have to kill me. I'll have Davik's money if he if he just gives me a little more time. Please, I don't want to die. Here, I've got fifty credits on me. That's all I've got. It's yours. Just don't tell Davik where I'm hiding, okay? I'm begging you. You mean, you're not here to kill me? But I, I thought you were one of Davik's bounty hunters. If you're not here to kill me, what do you want? I don't think anyone can help me. I owe Davik money, and I was late with the payment. So he went to Zach's in the bounty office and put a price on my head. I've been hiding here ever since. But sooner or later, someone will find me. Unless I somehow come up with another 200 credits. I'm a dead man.
Can we just keep give all our money away? Let's do that. You'd give two hundred credits to a stranger just to help them out? <laughs> I don't believe it. Well, uh, thank you. Wow, that sure was generous of you. I just hope we don't. Now I can pay off Davik. Oh, thank you. You've saved my life. All right. How much money do we have still? So... Oh, almost nothing. I guess we can take this. I think you get more XP when you give away your money like that. I'm not sure though. I heard the gangs have overrun the lower city. Why don't the Sith go down there and restore order? All right, nothing in here. Oh no, footlocker, footlocker. Yes, what's on your mind? Me? Well, I've been a star pilot for the Republic for years. Seen more than my share of wars. I fought in the Mandalorian Wars before all this started. But with all that, I've never experienced anything like the slaughter these Sith animals can unleash. Not even the Mandalorians were that senseless. My home world was one of the first planets to fall to Malak's fleet. The Sith bombed it into submission, and there wasn't a damn thing our Republic forces could do to stop them. I'm just a soldier. I go where the fleet admirals tell me to. I follow my orders and I do my duty. It, it's just... <sighs> Doesn't seem right that doing that means I failed them. I, I didn't. Yeah, no, I... That's not what I mean. I mean, I, I'm sorry, I'm not making much sense, am I? You probably mean well with your questions. I'm just not accustomed to talking about my past very much. At all, actually. I'm more used to taking action. Keeping my mind focused on the business at hand. So let's just do that. If you have more questions, ask them later. Okay. Just move along. There's nothing to see here. Where did you hide those Sith uniforms? Did you sell them to the Terizian underground? Start talking. I want answers. He offered you. He enjoyed the time. And really good. And he behind Gorupia. And now, all the truth comes. Gorupia. You're a little too curious for your own good, civilian. This doesn't concern you. I know all about Sith interrogations. This isn't going to end well. I'm getting sick of your lies, you alien scum. We've got your ugly mug and a security tape from the base. Start talking before I splatter your slimy brains all over this room. Uh-oh. I think the commander's losing his temper. I'm glad I'm out of here. It took me an hour to clean the bloodstains from my uniform after the last interrogation. Just stay out of this if you know what's good for you. What was that? Did I hear you right? Let us kill him? How can you stop us? Time to teach the civilian the penalty for defying the Sith. Why are these guys so weak? This is supposed to be the hardest difficulty. to be used. Name my name is my friend. Oh, he did steal the Sith uniforms.
Says he speaks with Garon Thek, leader, leader of the Hidden Chin Balls. Okay. It says we can take the uniforms, but actually we can't. Oh, actually, yeah, we can. All right. To my Sith armor. Only one, though. You're one of them Sith, ain't you? My mommy says I'm not supposed to talk to you. On it. Done. You're one of them Sith, ain't you? My mommy says I'm not supposed to talk to you. Please, don't take me for questioning. I, I don't know anything, I swear. All right. You spread fear and despair. I think we've done everything here. Yep, I think we made the full circuit. Let's go back up. Don't hurt me. I'm just a simple merchant. I, I don't want anything to do with you, Sith. Please, just leave me alone. Please, don't hurt me. I'm just a simple merchant. I, I don't okay, want to... um... Maybe we should take this off. Anything to do with you, Sith. Please, just leave me alone. I heard the Sith are sending salvage teams down to the... The Sith wouldn't be so bad if they'd let us leave the planet. Okay. Out of our way, citizen. We're on official Sith business. Just stand yeah. aside. Explore some more. I think. You want to go that way? Droids by Janice. Not sure where that is marked. What is this planet coming to, huh? Yep. Shlami's just walking around the upper city. Shouldn't you know it's a Lars says you belong, Shlami? Oh, this is rich. Yeah, like he said. These streets are for upper city citizens. <laughs> You better get out of the way if you know what's good for you. Uh, come on, fellas. This shlubby ain't worth the bother. Uh, uh, yeah. I guess you're right. 
Maybe next time, Slummy. Come on, fellas, let's go. But who's the Slummy? I'm in the wrong business. davik has got a piece of everyone's action. I should have been a crime. Wait, who's, who's the guy they were threatening? What? Whatever. A plague spreads through our streets. We cannot sit idly by while this pot friends and fellow humans. I bring you a warning. A warning of a great plague spreading across our planet. Please, listen to me. My name is Gordon Kobu. Will you join my cause? We must band together if we are to stop the spread of birth. I am speaking of the hideous looking aliens who <laughs> walk the world of Taris. The Wookiees and Ithorians and Rodians and Bith, all of them. Listen, friend, for these are dark times. That is why I, Gordon Kobu, have formed the Anti Alien League. The time has come for action. We cannot sit idly by while aliens blight our glorious planet. <laughs> Remain true to the cause, friend. Enlightened humans such as yourself are few and far between. But we shall triumph when the day of reckoning comes. Hmm? Um, what is here? Nothing? Oh. This elevator is off limits. Only Sith patrols and those with proper authorization are allowed into the lower city. It's obvious from the way you're dressed that you're not one of the Sith patrols. So unless you have the authorization papers, you must move along. If you were supposed to have them, you'd know where to get them. Now quit wasting my time and move along. Okay. Move along then. I'm gonna need some kind of disguise if we want to get past this guy. Oh, some kind of disguise? Hmm, what could that be? Let's explore up here first though. Before we cleverly disguise ourselves. Military base. Okay, can't use that. I guess we'll put on our clever disguise. Clever disguise. Uh huh. Death armor. There we go. Another patrol heading down to the lower city. Eh? Well, good luck. I've heard it's pretty rough down there. There's a big swoop gang war going on, you know. You better watch yourself. Those gangs will take a shot at anyone, even us. It's too bad we don't have the manpower just to sweep those slums clean. Okay. And he's not at all suspicious that our friend here is not wearing Sith armor. Karatumpa kunba yeya moka pata. Okay, I find some sort of gang warfare. You don't take kindly to your 
behind around here. Ooh, okay. Okay, um... I'm just gonna die here. Right, um... Yeah, not rotate the camera. All right. Just a flesh wound. I'm here. Maybe I shouldn't. We need a few more levels to operate down here. Let me go up again. Listen to me, people. There is a terrible scourge sweeping up regimes, my sick friends. Rest assured, feel free to stay and listen if you will. The evil walks among us. The enemy is here. We must act now before we are overrun with the Okay, um... Uh-huh. I'm here. It's fine. What's your sickness? Anything you want to sell here? Blast a rifle. Two to seven. Then Last rapid one to eight. Keep this. King Don Shi Kaikachin Awana Wamat with team and bone rank thong. Muli ra on shantoring. Kipuna, bona na kichu. Kin ba mule ra duana. Dong kin ba no kudnok nek. Kaba numpa kum pialia monokata. Ranga kun bis kin no moruat. Kakin chana duana for clon. You'd think people would be a little more tolerant of others in this day and age. I guess stupidity and ignorance were never my style. Oh, hi there, Veshio. Tichok twis yun kun. Atu yama kama wona henak nek. Bugra shak kun tichi wa un chawa. Okay, whatever, whatever. Tangabushan Om Nong Wanga Kun Beast Kin Tanga Boksha Om Nag Nong Kin Kun Shin Shin Kin Nikin Kun Nabule Mule Raji Kun Human Era is racist. Um Kavadumpa Kapalia Monapata. Bonanakachu, 
Yin kin kun no ba mule rachi kun tong na bun shan nu yang mule rachi tong ki ba non tontek tun ni cha chon kun. Okay. Randy. Nothing important here. No quests from her. Let me look on the map. There's the Sith base, lower city, droids. Go to the upper city south. So but um when do I level up? Can you see that? Um alright, need an extra twelve hundred ish. Let's let's make sure we get one more level up if we go to, down to the under city again. Alright. He's very drunk. Journey. Okay, that's this uh, I was here earlier. Wait, is that? Are we through here? No. Oh. Can we just break in there? Just, just forget you saw anything, okay? I, uh, I guess I'd better tell you what's going on. I only hope the Sith don't find out what I've done. Since the space battle overhead, people have been secretly bringing in these Republic soldiers who crash-landed on the planet. I had to take them in. What choice did I have? Their injuries are terrible. Most won't survive. But at least I can make their last days more comfortable. And at least here, they're hidden away from the Sith. Well, for that, you have my thanks. It's good to know that at least some of these men ended up in compassionate hands. I hate to imagine what the Sith would do if they discovered these soldiers here. But since their initial questioning, the Sith have not returned, so it may be my fears are unfounded. I'm afraid there's nothing more anyone can do for these soldiers. Now, if you'll excuse me, I should return to the front in case anyone comes in needing medical attention. Okay. Get some light side points. In this game, of course, you can be either good or evil. And like, way back in the day in my first playthrough, I, I chose the evil route. So now I'm trying to be good. What is this on the map? This is the... Apartments again. I think this is where I came from originally. Both apartments. Yeah. Okay. What's going on over there? I think anything is important here. Yeah, the, this the entire area reminds me very much about the the um, reminds me a lot of of Mass Effect. You know, the central city there looks very similar. I guess they really took some inspiration there from Otto. Hello there. Let's 
seen you in my shop before? Allow me to introduce myself. My name is Kebla Yurt. Welcome to the Equipment Emporium. You looking to buy some supplies? My shop's the largest one in all of Upper Terrace. Best selection on the planet. Whatever you need, I've got. Well, mostly. Mostly? What do you mean by that? The Sith confiscated all my heavy weapons, and they impounded all my ships and swoop bikes. But I've still got a real nice selection, if you're interested. Uh, just so you know, the prices on the items are our final. No. Okay. Um. Don't really have enough. Yeah, this might be like a nice armor. Six defense and three dexterity. And I think we do we do have medium armor stuff, right? So Viper Blade is one to ten. Almost is one through twelve. Okay, we'll just um, sell some stuff. Not worth anything. Hello there. Very appropriate. Very appropriate uh, given your avatar and name. Um, we'll sell one Viper Blade. Ooh, you get a lot for selling these blaster rifles. And we can buy a an armor. This one's just pretty good. Okay, and then we can get some proper armor here. Um where is it? There we go. Uh military suit. Okay. So what's um what's over there? Well, I haven't been here actually. But this um I think Yeah that's the cantina. Quest there, I think. Don't you just love watching the Kazak players? All that strategy, all those credits. <laughs> it's enough to make a girl get all flushed. Body Vaughn, have you come here just to bother me, or do you wish to test yourself against the best Pazak player on Taurus? <laughs> you don't even have your own deck? Then why are you bothering me? You can't play Pazak without your own deck. If you're serious about Pazak, go speak to old Garok on the other side of the tavern. His gambling days are over, and uh, he's looking to sell his deck. Back again. If you ever okay hello there youngster you interested in buying the pazak deck of an old man looking to get out of the gambling game just 50 credits and i'll sell you all my cards i'll even throw in a free lesson to boot it's a great deal if you can afford it don't get me wrong the game's been good to me over the years I've traveled the span of the galaxy, from the core worlds to the farthest reaches of the Outer Rim. I've won countless fortunes, and lost countless more. That's why I'm looking to get out. Um... Alright, that's the sort of interested in the grand old thingy. game. The rules are pretty simple. Here, I'll load them up into your data pad so you can check them out anytime you want. Good luck. I hope the game's as good to you as it was to me. Now, is there anything else I can do for you? Okay, before each uh, Pasak match, you must select 10 cards to form your side deck. Four of these cards will be randomly drawn to form your hand during the match. Okay. You have two cards of Two of each card number one to five. All right, there's other ones as well. Uh, 
Uh, I have to use all of them anyway, so... Yes. You have your face-up counts total higher than your opponent's without exceeding a total of 20. Okay. Player's total is greater than 20 at the end of a turn. Um, the opponent wins the set. Player must win three sets to win the match. Okay. That's a little bit like blackjack, basically. First player draws a card from the main deck and plays it face up to begin their turn. So automatically. Then... Okay, you only have these, these four years for the entire game. Either play a card from hand. And... Okay, some better cards are available. Okay, and then can sort of stand. Okay, okay, I think I get it now. Alright. So I got an 8. Okay. Um, I'll take another card. 14. I'll take one more. Oh, shit. Okay. Don't have any minus cards, so. Alright. Match continues and have one player has three sets. Okay. More cards. 17. Okay, I'll play my plus 3. Alright, the opponent tries to get 20 as well. Okay. Oh my god, I'm so unlucky. And I keep getting all these very high cards. It means that I always give him more, more information. Why do I always have to go first? Isn't it alternate or something? Okay. Sometimes lucky. Okay. I mean, it was at night and it didn't have a plus one, so we had to try to get lucky. We'll get one more. Okay. Oh, he's oh he's got a minus card. Okay, okay, okay. So I need to get another card, otherwise I lose for sure. And now we take the plus four. Oh, this just oh, this just uh, uh, ends the entire thing. I, I thought it would just uh, end all this pop-up stuff. Whatever. Okay, so now we know how to play Garuk. No, not no. What was it? Was it called Pasak? Where's my? Can I see what kind of cards I have? Dark deck. All right. Don't you just love watching the Pasak players? Okay, Pasak Fango. That is claimed he was really good at Pasak, so maybe we'll find something else to play with first. Well, hello there. I can see from your exotic appearance that you are not from Taurus originally. Allow me to introduce myself. 
My name is Jurgen. How how do we have exotic appearance? It's like people from all different, all different uh, species and races and so on here. How is our appearance exotic? What do you think of our local music? The band is quite good, wouldn't you agree? They're on the verge of intergalactic stardom, you know. Obviously, you have an ear for music. Mark my word, they'll be famous soon enough. Would you like to meet the band after the show? Maybe have a brief brush with... They have a standing arrangement with one of the Rodian bodyguards backstage. For the small sum of 20 credits, he'll let me set up a meeting with you and the band. You sting me with your words. I merely thought I could offer you the rare opportunity to meet. That's too bad. They really are charming fellows. Very. Okay. Maybe we need to need them for some sort of quest. Mucho shaka paga. Ye. All right. Nothing interesting here. What? Why are you speaking to me? Get away from me. <laughs> I can't be seen talking with a common rap. Okay. I just left to play with him. I'm here. Very close to we have 188. I saw you're getting a Bazak lesson from that old fossil Garou. Normally I wouldn't bother with a novice like you. But since Gerud I'm going to enjoy relieving you of your credits almost as much as I'm going to Okay, let's uh, wager less. Oh my god, nine star, that's not good. Why do we also have to go first? That's it's so unfair. Why does he never have to go first? Okay, we'll do this. Okay, okay, I win a set. Uh, 16 is definitely not enough. My finger has never been broken. <sighs> Can we stand on 18? We're already down to two cards, so probably let's do it. At least use the card. Because my finger is injured, it's not broken. Um, all right, uh, we need to. Get lucky here? Yes, okay. Nice. Oh, we got lucky. Nice. This is like the children's game where you move the card and select the one card in the wooden container. Um, no. It's, it's kind of like blackjack. But you also have hand cards, and you need to get a 20, not 21. You were lucky to win the last match, but luck is no substitute for skill in Baza. If you are foolish enough to play me again, I... I'm going to enjoy the. Okay, let's let's try to try with 40. You know, he's got better cards, and he's got the advantage of going first.
probably gonna lose now, but let's see. But 18 is gonna stand. Alright, of course we take another one. 18 and now we play plus one and we win the first round. Easy peasy. We have to get to three wins and then we win the entire match. We only get those four cards for the entire match. Oh, he's busted. Nice. It's going well. Nice. I'm also getting lucky with the cards, getting lower cards. 16. Let's play our plus four. Okay, so also use the card. And we need to get a little bit lucky there. Okay, okay. Yeah, I'm not gonna play too much of this. Uh, okay, we don't have any minus cards, so... Oh, no, no, no! <laughs> uh... But you maybe can, like, switch this to minus or something, but of course you can't with this card. That was bad. Right, use our last card. Honest open also has 20. That's uh, I'm up one one game, but it has two more cards. I need to get pretty lucky now. Win one of those. Oh, shit. All right, we'll stand on 19. Okay. Oh, well. Kazak is not for everyone. It requires both nerve and skill. Perhaps. Questions? <laughs> I don't. If you ever. Okay, whatever. Uh, miss isn't there anything else here in this cantina? The musicians. I'm not here to chat. I just finished a long shift at the military base and now I'm just looking to relax. What's the nothing in here? No quests or anything? I'm confused. Okay, we haven't been here apparently. No, this is where the band is. This other room. I can't okay, believe we can get stuff. arena tickets for this match. Now we'll have to watch the duel on the view screen. Who cares? It's Duncan and Gerlon fighting. It's not like we're gonna miss anything good. Shh, they're about to start. So quit complaining and just watch the view screen. Ladies and gentlemen, I draw your attention to the dueling ring. Here. Two combatants will battle for your viewing and gambling enjoyment. Now, I hope all your bets are down because we're ready to roll. In this corner, I give you Gerlon Two Finger. You play your ten fingers. Looking to climb the ranks yet again is the ever persistent Dead Eye Duncan. I guess it looks pretty old for a fighter.
Okay. I haven't seen you around here before. You looking to step into the duel ring? Or did you just come to watch? Good to see some new blood in the fight game. Things have gotten pretty stale around here lately. If you're serious about this, go talk to Azure the Hut. He's the duel organizer. He'll probably start a rookie like you out against Duncan. What are you looking at, fresh meat? You want a piece of me? Big talk. Go speak with the hut in the corner to back it up. He's the duel organ. Yes, there are drag kings. That's uh, women dressing up as men. It's not much less popular, though. Wait, I know what you're going to say. It's great to see a woman in the duel ring strike a blow for equality. I'm a credit to my gender, blah, blah, blah. Just say it, okay? I'm just here to take care of business in the dueling ring. For some reason, every woman who comes in here thinks we should have some kind of female bond. Guess what? We don't. Well, now you know why they call me Ice. If you're looking for a match, go talk to Azure. He's that big hut over there in the corner. Otherwise, just go away. Okay, there's Marl. Hello there, Offworld. Allow me to introduce myself. My name is Marl. I'm one of... No, we've never met. It's just that most people who come here to watch the duels are bored nobles. Look, you look like you know a thing or two about combat. Okay, blah, blah, blah. Goodbye, strength. Okay. Okay, he wants to have, have us fight. Okay, let's see. This is for the best. We could use those credits from these duels, but using your okay, blah blah blah. Let's try for a duel. Ladies and gentlemen, draw your eyes to the center ring. How do you understand them? Um, my character knows lots of alien languages. Actually, dressed in North. And in the other corner, a relative newcomer to the Taris dueling scene, emerging from the. As for the gender of the hut, I have no idea. And no name, the mysterious stranger. Okay, this guy is really weird. Okay. It's over. The fight is over. The mysterious stranger has won. But we are any of us surprised? Jedi losing, is it you? You have to do better than that to impress us, stranger. Okay, got 55 XP. See if we get another duel. Okay, we got uh, 
Alright, let's see what Prof will do. Now we do guard on two fingers. Let's do it. Ladies and gentlemen, draw your eyes to the center ring. We have a very in Star Wars. Are there any hot Jedi's? I don't think so. At least I have never seen anyone in, in Star Wars. But who knows, maybe. I don't really um, know like a lot about Star Wars lore uh, except for the actual movies. I don't really care about any of this extended universe stuff and so on. Okay, this guy's pretty easy too. Oh, there's a lot of damage though. It's over. The All right. Is over. The mysterious stranger has won. Girl, I'm losing to a rookie. Is this a sign that his injuries have finally caught up with him? Or is the mysterious stranger for real? Only time will. Mysterious stranger. You got 200 credits. Do we have to heal up before we fight? Time to fight a lightsaber. I give you the mysterious not. I mean, obviously. Um, okay, we fill up to four. Okay, if you can use the grenades here. All right, that did a decent amount of damage. Yeah, obviously lightsabers are going to be better than uh, regular swords. Ah, not quite. Okay. One thousand four minutes steel can melt with a lightsaber. The metal things we are using regular swords. None of us is using a lightsaber. Why does my sword have a hilt? Why wouldn't it? Looks like some sort of katana ish. Um, Sword, so like a single edged sword. It's a viper blade, but exactly is a viper blade. Rare cut. 
or toast his wave to prevent lightsaber sparring damage. Okay, so this is apparently somehow resistant against uh, lightsabers. Why would I have yellow fever? Is this the best weapon we have actually? Or should we use a... Damage bonus plus one. It's pretty strong. Okay. You have a katana and choose female Asian character? The what? I just chose one female character that looked... Uh, it looked good. And this is the strongest weapon I have. There's nothing... Nothing wrong with katanas. They're, they're good weapons. Ladies and gentlemen, draw yeah, 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 okay. A woman with steel on her bow. Let's get this. Oh, she's still injured. We're going to see all the maggots here at the start. Can I not skip this? What? Okay, do you have any some sort of boosts that you can use? Did you use it already? I think we did. No, two eight hands of keyboard. Oh, what? We're just getting completely destroyed now. What? I need to be a bit stronger for this fight. Alright, we will return later here. He is the embodiment of uh, Rich TV. Okay. Makes about as much sense as Twitch chat. Um. So what's your evidence of me having yellow fever? I chose a character that looks kind of Asian. That's that's the only information you have? Okay. Okay, where do we go? Where's the healer? Somewhere in this direction, I believe. Yeah, that's the clinic. And the Asian looking weapon? This just simply happens to be the best weapon I have right now. What? Welcome back. Are you in need of healing or medical supplies? Um, do some healing. 
Alright, we're back. Full health. Um, how much do we need to level up? Where can we see that? Alright, we need 1100. Let's see if we just uh, go, go down to the the sewers. Well, not the sewers, but like the like undercity. South Pub, so we've already been there. Alright, Henry, you're talking a whole bunch of nonsense. Um, what's that flying thing? Which flying thing? It's a cantina, we were just here. Where do we want to go? Upper city, okay. Does something fly in the sky? I don't know. Was it a bird? Was it a plane? Was it Superman? I don't know. What sorts of flying things here? Flying robot? Like flying cars and whatnot? That was stuff? Um... Alright, so this is the apartment where we came from. Droids, here's the lower city. Let's go to the lower city. Nice bosom to look at, I suppose. Cleverly disguise ourselves as a Sith. Is this actually the best armor I have, or should I use something else? Two defense and eight decks. Six defense. So this is only two defense? You look at it, it's some sort of like high-tech plate armor. And then... This thing apparently... Offers much better protection. But whatever. we can find here those city apartments okay some random people who just attack us okay is my finger not injured anymore so I get my stitches out on uh, Friday. <laughs> Alright, what do we have here? Even more of these black Volkas who apparently don't like us. Okay. Don't get anything from them. The money. Uh
Oh yeah, I just wanted to use a match pack. And many of them. <laughs> kind of crazy how, how fast these guys die, even though it's hard difficulty. Different species. Mm. This guy is, you know, white, but of course he's an alien, so. Human racial categories don't really apply to them. What the fuck is this? <laughs> On it. Damn. On it. Damn. Impossible. Mr. Rank or two, what the fuck is that? Can you see that? Where the new items? Guts and Glory, a chronicle of the amazing story of the Twisted Rancor Trio by Gilthos Uxaris. Maybe that's like the. I think that's supposed to be like the. Um, clues for which order was supposed to activate this stuff. Um, there are no transgender options in this game. I guess you can always have a headcanon that this is actually uh, that my character was actually born as uh, um, as, as male and then transitioned to female or something. Oh, there's no explicit option for that. Um, I don't. I don't think I care enough about this to read this entire book. Low security door. On it. Done. Gava tumpa kupa yia moka paata. What are you doing in here? Um, Um, Tulbada bunk walia gando de nago chuchut, kachi chu aitha haudunga. You malith kain kotun, jilo mulra de ne bobo, munka kun viskang, bamulara. What is called this a map? Miki gravel mogo. Oh, kachi chu aitha haudunga, tulbada bunk walia gando de nago chuchut, moga shampunk pa. Okay, so he turned to snitching and bounty on his head. Okay. What are you? Oh, assigned mill at birth. Okay. Um. Takum 
Luigi Gravel Mogo. Kachi Chu I... Conti Gianni Mulir. Oui. Uh, tell me your plan. Takum Justak Miki Gravel Mogo. Kachi Chu I Thaudonga. Mana Mana Tota. Akuchi Gratuk Bola. That's really small. Um, yeah, that, that's because of the upscaling of the re resolution. The game is not supposed to be at this resolution. Um, there's also some sort of mod that uh, upscales the UI stuff and so on, but um, didn't quite get that to work. Maybe for next stream. Okay, let's say permacrete. Detonator. Alright. Need a perma create activator thingy. Detonator. Whatever. There's some sort of option making the um, stuff bigger. I don't think so. Oh, did, did we already make the full, um... Yeah, I think we already... ...went through once. What's behind here? Oh, okay. Another black walker. The 100 XP. No loot though. Alright. Guess he could have helped out for the fight. But don't need him now. Let's explore a bit more down here. Okay, second container. Underground container. Greetings, stranger. My name is Galroot. Are you a Pazak player by chance? A simple misunderstanding. Some of the other Pazak players don't understand the finer points of the... That's no justice. My lucky Pazak deck was confiscated and I... If you... Alright, no more Kazak for now. Okay, whatever. From what you have to sale. Alright, so some of the better cards are that are either plus or minus. Might be nice to get some of these, but I'm not gonna. The green guys have an Aquilos. I don't think so. Can't be Kalanoid. He's supposed to be tough. This guy's nothing but a runt. One. Oscar. 
Green Snake guy is actually a good fit as a husband for Medusa. Maybe. Three. Okay, that was easy. Go away. One, two. <laughs> Cookie punk punk. What do you call a little girl, tuba face? Just a sec, boys. Sawbar, a little help here? I need you to rip the legs off some insects. <laughs> Complaining, you can finish eating later. Besides, you need the exercise, so get over here. You got a problem with me? Then you got a problem with Big Z. So, unless you want to take on my furry friend, I suggest you greenies hop on out of here. I can't wait for the big swoop. Say, I don't recognize you, and I know pretty much everyone in the lower city. You must be new down here. I guess that makes me and Big Z your official welcoming committee. It's not that strange. Most aliens can speak basic, they just prefer to use their own language. But I grew up here on Terra, so I just sort of got used to speaking the native tongue. You showed a lot of guts dealing with those Valkyrs, kid. You got a name? My name's Mission Veo, and this big Wookiee is my best friend Zalbar. I'd offer to give you a tour, but the streets down here aren't safe. But if there's anything else you need... We just kind of fell in together. It ain't easy on your own here in the lower city. Everyone's always looking to push you around. So we noticed. Still, you seem like an odd pair. When I met up with Zalbar, it seemed like a pretty good match. I knew we could look out for each other. With my street smarts and his muscle, we make a great team. Well, you came to the right person. If you want info on Lower Terrace, I'm the one to talk to. Davik, the love. Okay, let's talk, ask about Davik. But I guess everyone knows that. But I hear he's got a new ship for his smuggling operation. The Ebon Hawk. I don't know much about space travel, but I hear that ship's fast enough to break the Sith blockade. Of course, this is all just secondhand rumor. Where would he keep it, do you know? If Davik does have a ship, he's got it locked up in his estate. Nobody gets in there. Except the people working for Davik and the Exchange. There's only two gangs worth worrying about here in the lower city. The Black Volkers and the Hidden Becks. Sometimes Zalbar and I hang out at the Beck base. The Becks are led by Gadden Beck. He's a good guy. Lost his sight in his tooth bike accident. Is that Ahsoka's sister? Uh, not like unlikely. He's, he's like 3,000 or like 5,000 years him. earlier. Gadden considered that ungrateful space or something like that. When Gadden went blind, everyone figured he'd step down and appoint Brezhik in his place. But Gadden figured Brezhik wasn't ready yet. He wanted him to wait a few years. But 
Grezik was too impatient. He left to join the Volkers, and ever since, he's been waging a war to wipe Gadden and his Vex from the face of terrorists. This gang war in the Lower City is totally the Volkers' fault. They're the ones killing everything that moves out there. When Gad but Grezik oh, we already had that. Kalinor is one of the most famous bounty hunters in the galaxy. He's killed more people than the Iridium Plague. I've seen him kill people just for trying to talk to him. He hangs around Zack's bounty office, but I don't think he's looking for work there. All the postings there are small time, way beneath a bounty hunter of his caliber. I figure Cal has been hired by Davik to do a special job for the exchange. I'd wager a thousand credits that as soon as the quarantine ends, he'll be getting off this rock. You going? Yeah, this dive is pretty good. Mm -hmm. Can't you think about something besides your stomach for five minutes? Come on. Oh, okay. We'll go see if there's anything good to eat at the Beck base. Yep, it's nice of the old Republic, not the new Republic. Huh? What? Oh, sorry. I didn't see you there. My attention was kind of focused on the Twi'lek dancers. Look at them waggle those head tails. Don't worry, honey. Alien girls aren't really my thing. I'm much more interested in an attractive female of my <laughs> own species. My name's Holden, baby. Maybe you've heard of me. I work for Davik Kang, you know. I'm one of his top couriers. Davik's always sending me off planet to deliver and bring back packages. He knows you can trust me to follow my orders to the letter. Plus, I used to be an intergalactic customs agent, so I know all the tricks they use to catch smugglers. That gives me the edge I need on my courier runs. You're here about that? I guess Zax must have mentioned me to you at the bounty office. Fair enough. I don't care who takes her out. Just so long as the job gets done, I can't let her get away with what she did. That witch tried to cut me with her vibro blade. Because she's crazy. She started screaming that I was making advances, and the next thing I know, she's coming at me with a knife. Yeah, right. Sounds to me like she was defending herself. I admit I was drunk. Maybe I got a little fresh, but it was no big deal. She didn't have to cut me. Hey, you weren't there. She totally overreacted. What? I can't do that. Think how it would look. I work for Davik. I've got a certain reputation to uphold. I can't let her get away with this. There has to be payback, although... I do feel a little guilty about all this. Dia's a good-looking gal. It'd be a shame to kill her. Tell you what, I'll take 200 credits in exchange for lifting the bounty. Well, I guess you may be right. Besides, I've noticed some of the girls around here are giving me the cold shoulder since all this started. Okay, you win. Dia can live. Don't worry, I'll stick to my end of the bargain. I'll go tell Zax right now that the bounty well, that was is on easy. the table. Okay. One quest down. What is this? Okay. Always press still dialogue option, yep. <laughs> I just came to stare at the freak. <laughs>
Ki muli wa kun kin Tong hi tuwa ma aku tuko tune Also in rapping culture, not really a thing. Hey, would everything green be from Arkonos? What? Um, okay. Whatever. Kind of hard to move around in this game. Okay. So, we haven't explored this part. Kavadumpa Kapalia Monapata. Tikon <laughs> Muli ra on shattering um ni patog. Mana mana tota hakuji krala bolaji chok shuntang shun ki tinku ukapa topa no as. Kim on shi kakchin awana wa randi i chawa tongbola jani ku. Okay, Brian, you've got some sort of dancing mini game. Not uh, very close and face to face, dancing beside her. Tag is to Bunko Cookie Mac Banka. Ching Palachiska Mule Tuna Shagji Kina, Lorcha, Watamwana, King Kun Shishikin, Tim and Borang Thong, Muli Ra on Shaturing Um. Running around her in circles while she dances? What? What? That doesn't seem to make too much sense. Getting close beside her, close behind her. Keep it simple. Taking in time. Okay. <laughs> 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 
Bounties, Assassin and Selvan, Bendak, Starkiller. I, I believe in the original version of um, Star Wars, Luke was supposed to be named um, Starkiller instead of uh, um, Skywalker. information Okay, so um, it finds Dia, wherever she is. Um, where's my quest book thingy? Um, Dia's bounty. Where is Dia though? I don't, I don't quite remember. I think it's one in one of the apartments. Just walk in here. This is the hidden back base. How do I know you're not a Vulcan spy sent to kill Gadon back? A lot of people want to go inside and speak to Gadon. He's a hero of the common folk. But the days of the hidden back's open door policy are gone. Between the Sith conquest and the Vulcan gang war, Gadon has more enemies than he used to. We're being careful about who we let in now. My loyalty's not for sale. I've been... Well, we do need all the help we can get. And you don't look like you're with the vault. Besides, it's not like you can do anything to harm Gadden in the heart of his own base. Go in and speak to Gadden if you want. Just remember... Okay. Hidden back base? Kind of weird name. Why are they hidden? What's a back? Hold it right there. Who are you? And what is your business with Gadden? Calm down, Zandra. Nobody's going to try anything here in the middle of our own base. It would be a suicide mission. You're too trusting, Gadden. Brezhik and his Vulkers want you dead. Anyone we don't know is a potential threat, and it's my job to make sure you're safe. 
Do you want us to start attacking strangers on sight, Zerdra? Like the Vulcans do? I will never let it come to that. Now step aside and let them pass. As you wish. You can speak to Gadden if you want, but I've got my eye on you. You try anything and you'll be vaporized before you can say Vulcar's spy. You'll have to forgive Zerdra. Ever since Brezhik and the Vulcars began this war against us, she's been a little overzealous in her security duties. The problems with the Sith haven't helped things. Zerdra seems to forget that I know how to look after myself. Now, how can I help you? Um... A foreign army invades Terrace, declares martial law, and locks down all travel to and from the planet? You damn well better. Am I winning? I don't know. If the Sith ever moved in down here, all the swoop gangs would unite against them. We'd use hit and run guerrilla tactics to pick them off. Their casualties would be enormous. Don't fool yourself. The Sith would never commit to that kind of operation. They'd they'd probably do something much more grand and deadly. But so has far, the Sith ever asked out of the if I was winning. Our strength is uh, I suppose. Gang war. I tried to explain this to Brezhik, but he and his Vulcans won't listen. The escape pods? You know, I heard the Sith have been asking around the upper city about them as well. But you don't look like you're with the Sith. They might be spies, Gadden. They might be working for the Sith. Calm down, Zerdra. If the Sith thought we knew anything useful, they'd have a battalion of troops kicking down our door. No, I think this offworlder has her own agenda. I suppose I could tell you what I know. It's not like it could do any harm to me or my gang. But it might cause problems for the Vulcas, and that's okay in my book. The Vulcas stripped those pods clean within hours after they landed. It's too bad we didn't get there first, considering what my spies reported the Vulcas found. A female Republic officer named Bastila survived the crash. We Bex don't believe in intergalactic slavery, but the Vulcas aren't so picky. They took a prisoner. Intergalactic slavery? So they do believe in galactic slavery? A planetary slavery or something? It's kind of weird. Normally, the Vulcans would take a captured slave and sell them for a nice profit to Davik, or an off-world slaver. But a Republic officer is no ordinary catch. I still think Bastila is just a Republic officer. That could work to our advantage. Maybe she'll even figure out a way to escape from the Vulcan base on her own. She's too valuable to leave with the Vulcan scum at the base. Brezhik's probably got your Republic friend hidden away somewhere safe until the big swoop race. You'll never find her. You believe in Icelandic slavery? What do you mean by that? Was there was slavery in Iceland? Historically? I'm afraid your friend has become a pawn in Brezhik's game to take over the lower city. He's offered her up as the Vulcan's share of the prize in the annual Swoop Gang race. By putting up such a valuable prize, Brezhik hopes to win the loyalty of some of the smaller gangs. Their numbers will allow him to finally destroy me and my followers. So how do you propose we go about rescuing Bastila then, when we can't fight all the gangs? The only hope you have of rescuing Bastila is to somehow win the big season opener of the Swoop race. I might be able to help you with this, if you'd be willing to help us. We both have something to gain here, and much to lose. The swoop race is for the lower city gangs only. I could sponsor you as a rider for the Hidden Vex this year. If you win the race, you'll win your friend's freedom. But first, you have to do something for me. My mechanics have developed an accelerator for a swoop engine. A bike with the accelerator installed can beat any other swoop out there. But the Vulcars stole the prototype from us. They plan to use it to guarantee a victory in this year's swoop race. I need you to break into their base and steal it back. Getting into the Vulcar base won't be easy. The front doors are locked tight. But I know someone who might be able to get you in the back way. Mission Vale. Mission? Gaddon, you can't be serious. She's just a kid. How is she supposed to help them with this? That's to go with a Wookiee friend from earlier. Back alley in the lower city. Plus, she knows the undercity sewers better than anyone. If anyone can get inside the Vulcar base, it's her. She and her Wookiee friend Zalbar are always looking to stir up a little excitement. 
They like to go exploring in the Undercity, despite the dangers. Your best bet is to look for her in the Undercity. But you'll need some way past the sit guard post at the elevator. A simple disguise might have worked on the Upper City card, but the security down here is much tougher. You'll need the proper papers to get past him. Luckily, my gang ambushed one of the Sith patrols headed down to the Undercity. They never made it, and their security papers fell into my hands. Since we're working together now, I suppose I could give them to you in exchange for your uniforms. With the security papers, you won't need a disguise anyway. I like to be prepared. Eventually, the Sith are going to try to drive us out of the Undercity. Good choice. Thanks for the uniforms. You won't need them. Your time would probably be better spent go Uh, very tactful. How dare you? Calm down, Zedra. I'm not ashamed of what I've become. As you can see, I lost my eyes in a swoop racing crash. I rely on these artificial replacements to see now. But my blindness was not the worst consequence of my accident. My affliction was what eventually led to this war between my Bex and the Vulcans. When I lost my sight in the swoop bike accident, everyone assumed I would step down as leader of the hidden Bex and let Brezhik, my most trusted follower, take over. But with my ocular implants, I can still see well enough to lead this gang. And I knew Brezhik wasn't ready to take over yet. Unfortunately, Brezhik didn't agree with me. In a rage, he left to join our arch rivals, the Black Vulcans. A lot of the younger gang members followed him, and soon he and his followers had taken control of the Vulcan gang. Brezhik is a proud man. My decision was a public humiliation for him. Maybe... Don't fool yourself, Gadden. Brezhik wants to control the lower city gangs. If you'd stepped down, he'd have led the Bex against the Vulcans. He wanted this war, one way or another. <sighs> I know you're right, Zerdra. Breshik won't rest until... Feel free to come back anytime. Okay, um... I'm going to talk to Mission. some items why not okay probably shouldn't break in here No one's watching, though. On it. Damn. Impossible. On it. Damn. All right. We need to find mission, right? Okay. He's out and about somewhere. Uh, this is where we came in, right? Let's look for mission and um, whatever the hooky is called.
Okay, she dead. Uh -huh. Time to rumble. <laughs> Only a flesh wound. So half of them will have many skills, right? You can't use computers, you have anything, he's got some awareness. And some treat injury. So let's actually oh get some attributes. Um Wait, this costs one point and this no everything costs one point now. Okay, okay, okay. Um Okay. Let's increase strength or constitution. Okay, we, we, we were dying a lot, so let's put this. Um, and then we'll put four into computers, I guess. Okay. All right. Wait, you're full health? Oh, this leveling up gives you full health? Okay. All right, it's good enough. You guys are behind with your payments. First we talk and then you, we fight. Uh, you think just because you're in some gang, you don't have to give Davik his cut? Ah, so you want to play this the hard way? <laughs> okay. I knew you boys would see reason. Now get out of here. Too bad. I was looking forward to cracking some heads. Maybe next time, Candorous. I better get this over to Davik. I'll call you if anyone else gets behind on their payments. I'm here. Yeah. Those Valkers are dumber than a chorus and granite slug. They actually think being in that pathetic little gang of theirs makes them important. Gadon keeps his hidden Bex in line, but Brezik's getting dreams of grandeur. If Davik's smart, he'll slap that young punk back down. I'm someone you don't want to get on the bad side of, and I'm not one for small talk. I don't have time to stick around here anyway. Davik's got me working on a special assignment. Um, our apartments. Check out these apartments. Agi Ipo Dune, Chula Moli Ra, Tony Wama Jikona, 
donc qui pa non tout net qui yo kaku Kimba muli ra ton aji Kuyami juski chika nai There's a bounty on your little green heads I'm here to collect Just grunky to pats nemo Chi ita kanki chan na kirikon That's the plan <laughs> Okay. Any remains here? No? More black walkers. Open this yet? I think we did. Oh, more. This guy first. Get a guy's more HP. We will kill him first, and then we will have the two to one advantage. Not so hard. Oh, there's more. There's a lot more. Okay, so the, the combat in this game is honestly a little bit boring. It's just like you're basically just watching your characters fight instead of really fighting yourself. Cover, disable. See if you can disable it. Alright. Remains good, good, good. Two supplies, armor reinforcement. Seems like it could be useful. How does this thing work? Complicated armor application that increases protective qualities. The modifications require a workbench with adequate tools and armor high quality marked as upgradable. Okay. Okay. Not that tough. Of course, this is a lot of speed we're getting. Maybe we need to increase the light a bit. go this hopefully a little bit better even more black walkers <laughs> only left click target in me once yeah what Okay. 
don't know whether the toilet thing popped up again now. We'll try to recover the money if you can. Still too low, you know it's only a minor mine. Alright, open the strong box. On it. Damn. On it. Damn. That looks like a personal message center. Um and read message in the system. Read the message. Was left on Taris. I heard your brother left for Ted's wings to a miner. Did you at least leave hyper drug behind to keep your company? Official practicing with that blaster. Um Aris can be dangerous. Um Okay. Doesn't help. On it. This will means there's a lot of valuable stuff in there. Okay. No security door, let's open it. On it. Done. Stop right there, or I'll give you a blaster shot right between the eyes. Now, what are you doing here? No, I'm the one with the blaster pointed at you. I get to ask the questions. What are you doing here? You're a fool if you think you can collect the price on my head. Now you'll see why I'm the most dangerous assassin on Taris. Ready. Ah, how'd you like that? It doesn't sound that dangerous. Run away. Oh, our guy's dead. That's not great. Oh. Okay. I guess she's pretty strong. That's their most recent save. Wait, is, if we, do we just leave the back space? Ah, oh, we have to replay a little bit here. Oh well. Maybe we find mission in the cantina? It was there earlier. No bookies to be found. But no luck there. Black Vultures. Okay, I'm actually about to die.
Um, where's the dock? Right, here's the, the racist creature. We cannot sit up. Up by City South is where you want to go. Take some med packs. Ready. What? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All the areas in this game are rather small. Because they originally developed this as an Xbox game. Or at least it was. I'm not sure if it was released before uh, on Xbox before uh, it was released on PC, but in, in any case, um, it was also developed as an Xbox game, and of course, back in those days, or even PCs had a lot less memory. It was hard to do these large open areas. Welcome back. Uh -huh, let's heal. And we'll go back again. Let's see if we can find the other side of the good news. Not sure where she is though. Get out of here, you goggle-eyed freak! You're too ugly for the upper city. Yeah, go back to where you came from. We don't want your kind up here. Why do you care what happens to some scummy alien? He's just a freak. Yeah, he isn't even supposed to be in the upper city. Come on, let's go. I don't want to listen to this alien lover anymore. Hey, I'm not going to give you giving us a map pack. Um, North Apartments. Is the are there? Nope. I think she was somewhere here. Not there either. Taurus used to be a nice place before the Sith showed up and started bossing us around. There. Maybe she isn't here after all. Oh, <laughs>
will be careful. Uh, okay, she's uh, down. It's a little okay though. Okay, there's a thing. There we go. Oh, there's way more of these guys. Go up. Yes, what's on your mind? You got it. Alright, level up. Level up. Oh, more attributes. That's nice. Oh, yeah, we didn't get the actual level up because um, we, we died and reloaded. Okay. That same level up. Let's get some constitution. Skills. To this, except lows. Now we're at full HP again. So let's go. Tough fight. They're still alive. Eleven credits. Not very much. Some grenades or not? There's even more of these guys. Actually. His med pack first. Now we go in there again. So there's only two of them, should be fine. Fighting us. I'm here. Oh, we can put this is on five. Another one. But uh, how much HP do I have right now? Um, yeah, I've got 48, but 44. But she is a little bit tankier than whatever his name is. Path. Notice the apartments. 
it was um, supposed to be a mission in the Undercity or the sewers. This is the Undercity, right? Lower City is the same as Undercity. Cantina. More workers. do my abilities actually do? I've got this... Right, so I've got these feeds. It's my flurry. You can extra melee attack during the rounds, carry yourself a minus 4 to defense while using the speed for 3 seconds afterwards. I also suffer a minus four penalty to all attacks. So you attack faster, but with less accuracy and you, and you lose defense. Maybe I should stop using this. Okay, plus one attack bonus. So you can fight with two play two handed weapons as well. Five damage, minus three to hit. Okay, it's good against easy to hit um opponents. Really good with um, blaster pistols. Alright. I'm here. This is a cutscene we saw earlier. You guys are behind. Ah, so you want to play this the hard way? <laughs> okay. I'm right back. Tony Pudu, Rana no Prata, don't know, Sergia, it's you a penki. What on the Awama Mulira? Kenjun Jubashak, no Bully Mulira. Johnny Tun, Turji Chiwi Itado, Bolauna Dichek, Palamure Slimo Wanga Kun Bisching. I knew you boys would see reason. Now get out of here. Too bad. I was looking forward to cracking some heads. Maybe next time, Candorus. I better get this over to Davik. I'll call you if anyone else gets behind on their payments. We back. Those Valkers are dumber than a chorus and granite. Gap. I'm somewhat. All right. Um, so Low city apartments. I've been there before. Let's uh, explore this first. Let's go on down here. There's more. Black whatever people. Yes. Not like the walkers.
All right, got him. Use the rapid transit to return to your base. Oh. On the puppet complex, the button on the map screen will read transit back. Oh, okay, you get like a town portal basically. That's cool. Let's take these guys out first though. Blast the turrets. Yes, what's it? I'm all ears. Maybe I'm just avoiding your questions. Is this really necessary? No, no, I don't have a problem with it, really. All my secrets are purely <laughs> of the mundane variety, unfortunately. Nothing worth extracting, though you're welcome to try. Let me ask you something first, though. I've been going through the battle aboard the Endar Spire over and over in my head since we crashed. Some things just don't add up for me. Maybe you could tell me what happened, from your perspective. Neither was I, to tell the truth. I was on board as an advisor for the most part. The battle began so fast it's anyone's guess as to what actually happened. We lost the ship and a lot of good people. What? In the hope that the Jedi powers would save us somehow? Not that Bastila had much of an opportunity to act. We didn't choose that battle anyway. It got forced on us. Hell, I'm, I'm, I'm just as surprised that any of us are alive to talk about it. Come to think of it, it's more than a little surprising that you happen to be here, isn't it? I mean, just what is your position with the Republic fleet anyway? Well, that makes sense. Still, it seems a bit strange that someone who is a last-minute addition to the crew roster is one of the survivors. Don't be ridiculous. You've more than proved yourself since the crash. We wouldn't have made it this far without you, but still. No. Well, maybe. Don't get me wrong, it just seems odd that someone Bastila's party specifically requested a transfer aboard happens to survive. The Jedi requested numerous things when they came on board, but hell, they practically took over the ship, as far as I could tell. Considering your connection to Bastila and the Jedi, but whether you know it or not, your presence here seems a little convenient. I'm I guess probably, they noticed that. This is probably nothing. Play a character as force ago, sensitive. To take things at face value, ever, and I hate surprises. I mean, I have to expect the unexpected, just to be safe. Look, it has nothing to do with you personally. I don't trust anyone, and I have my reasons. And no, I'm not going to discuss them. So can we just? All right, all right. You must be the most damn persistent woman I've ever met. We'll talk about it, but later. Right now, I just want to get going. Okay. The Sith base. Talk to this guy. Hold on there, civilian. Only those with official Sith business are allowed into the Undercity. Unless you've got the proper security papers, you better just turn around and go back the way you came. Let me see. Uh, yeah, these look to be in order. Okay, you can go down. The Undercity is crawling with mutants. Rack ghouls, they call them. If you see anything moving down there, shoot first and ask questions later. Okay. Let's, let's try this TP thing. Um, so where is this? All right, return to hideout.
Right. Oh, that's where Dia is. Okay, let's talk to Dia and then we'll return. You're back. Did you did you manage to get Holden to withdraw the price on my head? He, he called the bounty off? That's wonderful. I only wish I had something to give you as a reward. Wait a minute, I know. I don't have many credits, but there is something I can give you. It's a family heirloom. It's not much, but it's something. I can never truly repay you for helping me, but you'll always have... Right, got some sort of item. Show... Show. Wait, can we see new items? That's some, some sort of function to see new items, right? What is this uh, family heirloom thingy that we got? I have no new items. There we go. Um, what was the thing we got? I'm confused. Whatever. Was it something that we auto equipped or something? No. Oh, whatever. All right, we'll go. Hands back. Go to the Undercity. Worlder, anyone using this elevator has to pay the toll. Yeah, this is our elevator. If you use it, you gotta give us something. I don't believe this planet. Even the beggars are trying to shake us down. Five credits. That's what it costs. Do you five elevator. credits? So five much. Five credits. Please. Have pity on us. We have nothing. All we ask is a few. Have you no heart? Have you no compassion? Come, my brother. Let us go. We will get nothing from this selfish upworlder. Go on, you two. Get out of here. I'm sorry about that. Those two beggars give everyone in the village a bad name. We aren't all like that, you know. Most of us are good people. I'm sure you are, miss. It's just too bad your little welcoming committee is here to give people a bad first impression. My name is Shalina. You're from the Upworld, aren't you? I've... I've never seen it. I was born here in the Undercity. Is it as nice as they say up there? Not to you, I suppose, but... You're probably used to its beauty by now. I've never been to the surface, but sometimes I think I can see it in my dreams. The sun, the sky, the stars. It all sounds so, so, so wonderful. Piendar, the leader of our village, tells me I should spend more time trying to improve things down here and less time dreaming about something I can never have. Maybe he's right. You probably think I'm a fool, having dreams of a place I've never even seen. But when I was little, Rukil used to tell me stories of what it was like up there. Rukil is the oldest man in the village. The kids call him Rukil Wrinkleskin, but he's a kind man. He used to tell me the greatest stories when I was a little girl. I still like to listen to his tales about the promised land. 
even though I know they're just legends, but it helps to make the Undercity seem less... less dark somehow. It's... it's just a story to make little children smile. Rukil believes in it, though. Sometimes I can almost believe it myself, but... <sighs> I guess we have to make the best of what we have, though. He's wandering around somewhere on the south side of the village. The children laugh at him and people think he's crazy. Okay. He'll be somewhere in the village. I couldn't... There were quite a few people from the surface marching through the village, but none of them bothered to talk. I don't know anything about that, but maybe Gendar could help you. Sorry. Okay. Oh, okay. Oh. Well, if you ever need anything, or if you just feel like talking, come back and see me. I hardly ever get a chance to speak to someone from the upworld. Wait, what is this? Is that uh, a skin? Uh, first I thought you should be wearing like a shirt or something like this, but that's actually a skin though. Is it just super dirty or she, are these bruises or what? Was it some sort of... Some sort of rash? Hey, you ain't from the village. You're from the upworld, ain't you? Yes, you've got credits, I bet. Watch yourself. There's something slimy about this guy. I wouldn't trust him as far as I could throw him. My name's Saigir. I run a little salvage shop here. You want to buy something from my store? I got some good deals. It ain't the best stuff. Alright, um... This seems pretty good. Alright, let's see. Let's buy a med pack or two. Never has to have one of those around. Okay. All right. Can't get in there. Mr. I gear. Esther. Hurry, Hendar! Hurry! I can hear it coming. He'll never make it. He's doomed. <sighs> I told him he was a fool to leave the village. He will make it. Run, Hendar! Run! Open the gate! Quickly! There isn't much time! Uh, I... I can't! The raccoons are too close! The mutants will kill him if you don't open the gate! And if I open the gate, they'll kill us all! No! You can't do the time this! They it isn't fair! Please, here, they could have already open opened the gate, the gate and let him in and closed the gate again. I can't open the gate. Not while the raccoons are so near. You'd risk your life for a stranger? <laughs> You're brave, Upworlder. I'll open the gate for you, but you gotta be quick. In a few seconds, I must close and lock it again. Right, let's kill the rock ghoul. Okay. Ooh, these guys are pretty strong. Okay, um... Okay! These guys are pretty tough. Um... Right, let's go here. You there. I already had this. Have you no go on, you two, get out of here. I'm sorry. I'm My... I've never been to the surface, but sometimes I'm Gendar, the leader of you. Okay. 
go through this stuff. I can't use my mouse wheel here. You... I... They were... Well, every some of the people have given up on the game. All right, where are we going now? Okay. Try the rock pool again. the gate they'll kill us all no you can't do this it isn't please I... yes it's a pink tank This will be fine. Right. Easy peasy. Never in doubt. I can't thank you enough for saving me, Upworlder. If I had anything but these rags on my back, it would be yours. But we have nothing. I still have you, Hendar. That's all I need. Let's go back to the village. Thank you for saving Hendar. You are braver than I, Upward. Perhaps we can learn a lesson from your brave actions. I'm Trellin, from the Outcast Village. It's my job to guard the gates. <laughs> I just guard the gate. Goodbye, up. Yeah. We can level up. Nice. Level up. Skills. We're gonna get one point. Now we get awareness, repair, security. Treat injury. Let's do this. He's pretty useless at everything else anyway. So, feet. Um, that was the critical threat range of melee attacks. Oh, it's only for melee attacks. Okay, that's not what we want. That's one here. Larry, we don't want that. All saving throws. We want damage on him. You get this. Eight damage. Minus three penalty. It's five damage for the same penalty. It seems to be the strongest. What do we go for this? Rapid shot. Minus four defense. Minus four attack penalty in the sniper shot. What is this? Uh, extra crit chance. If you attack it, it's target is stunned. Um, unless you make a fortitude saving throw. And... Lowest defense. Okay, I think this is actually what we want, right? So most of the time we're not really going to be attacked. Because we're ranged. Let's use this. Um, add feed, there you go. And accept. Can we do the whole return thing? Return to hideout? 
Well, if you just always heal yourself like that, good to know. I'm here. He's here. We won't be finding our Alaskenda. Uh, really, what we look for is mission. We rarely see your kind here in the Undercity. I find it strange that so many of you have come down from the surface recently. No offense, but I can see why people normally avoid this place. Why have you come into this dark and sunless place? Is there something you need of me or my village? I will help you however I can. Our village has seen many visitors from the surface recently. Armored troops, swoop gang members, mercenaries. They come to search our sunless world. They're even searching the sewers. Yes, I have seen this Twi'lek many times, though I've never spoken to her. She and her Wookiee companion often pass through our village on their way to explore the sewers. The Rackles are monsters, hideous mutations who feast on the flesh of our villagers. Their diseased jaws can infect those they attack, transforming the victim into one of those abominations. We know of no cure for the disease, and for the good of the village, we must banish any who become infected, lest they transform and turn on us. Ask your questions, Upworlder. I will answer to the best of my knowledge, though. Um... Our village has seen many visitors. Okay, how do I get in the sewers? There are two entrances into the sewers from the Undercity. One to the northeast of our village, the other to the southeast. But the sewers are dangerous, Upworlder. If you dare to travel those dark tunnels, you would be wise to go heavily armed, unless you wish to become a... As you wish, Upworlder. All right. Um, what class healer? Wait, Upworlder. You can't go through this gate. There is too much danger and suffering beyond. For your own sake, turn back. I am Isala, healer of this village. I use my knowledge and what little resources we have to care for the outcasts who are sick or injured. But despite my medical training, there is nothing I can do to help the poor souls locked on the other side of this gate. The villagers infected with the Rutgore disease are quarantined beyond this gate. It's only a matter of time until they transform into horrible creatures that would destroy us all. So you just lock them away in a cage? For the sake of the village, we have to keep the infected ones locked away. And when they finally do transform into rock ghouls, we'll let them destroy each other. Hey. Must be something someone Nothing can, can do. Nothing can be done for the infected villagers. Even the serum to counteract the Ragbull disease wouldn't be any use now. Nobody would be foolish enough to risk going into the pens to give them the cure. The infected ones could transform into Ragbull. I can't help the infected ones. They have to die so that the rest... If you have questions, but despite my medical training... Farewell. Okay. Here's the Rackle pens. Um, where are the sewers? What? Where are the sewers? Yes, upworlder. Goodbye.
Okay. Please, you have to help me. Nobody else is gonna help me. Even the backs won't help me. But I can't just leave him there. He, he's my friend. You'll help me, won't you? It's Zalbar. He's in trouble. Big trouble. We have to help him. If we don't, they'll sell him into slavery. Me, me and Zalbar, we were just wandering around here in the Undercity. You know, looking for stuff we could find, just kind of exploring. We do it all the time. I guess with a Wookiee of your side, you've got to figure you can handle the odd Rat Ghoul attack. Only this time, they were waiting for us. Gamorrean slave hunters. We didn't even have a chance to run. Big Z threw himself at him and then roared for me to run. I, I took off. I figured Zalbar would be right behind me. But there were too many of them. He couldn't get away. They're going to sell him to a slaver, I just know it. I can't ask Gadden. He's always telling me not to go into the Undercity. He says it's too dangerous with the Rat Ghouls and Gamori. It's a deal. As soon as we get Big Z back, I'll show you a way into that Volker base. Now come on! We have to find Zalba before they sell him to slavers, or worse! Do you know where he's being kept? The Gamorians make their camps in the sewers. I bet that's where we'll find Zalbar. And that's where I'll show you the secret entrance into the Volker compound. Okay, so we've got mission now. Okay, extra party member, why not? What? He's a scoundrel. So this deck seems good. Yeah, probably the most important thing here. Skills. So security is a class skill. So have her be our security person. Demolitions, stealth. Awareness. Heat injury. Got four more points remaining. I mean, you can get, basically get everything, right? Don't need repair. All right. Accept. It's level four now. Level four, level four, and... Path to level five. All right. Huh? I'm here. You there, civilian. This is a restricted area. What are you doing down here? Security papers. Oh. You're one of those trackers, the commander. We've already lost one patrol. We figure the Rack Ghouls got them. We've had so many encounters with those things, we've actually run out of Rack Ghoul serum. Plus, we've had several skirmishes with looters from those lower city swoop gangs. I'm telling you, we should just stay in the upper city where we're in control. What was that while you're down here? Search and rescue. I didn't think they'd send anyone. They were in the southern section of the Undercity when we lost contact. I would have gone to investigate, but my orders are to search for those crashed escape pods, even if it means leaving another patrol to die.
<laughs> Let's see if we can take those guys. And then what's she gonna do? Yeah. Now that you ask for this. He's got a super weak. Whoa. Thought it was gonna be a, a top five. It's gonna be not. Now this guy. We can't hit him at all. What is happening? I'm here. Some sort of shield or something. Hey, it's, it's got some sort of shield that is glowing around him. And we're finally now it's taking some damage. You asked for this! Just Yeah, just die already, exactly. Oh my god, this guy was really tough. I got him once tied instantly. I guess fighting in this game is quite random. Regular med pack. It's two rackles now. I don't wanna I don't think we can take those. Wait, where are we supposed to go? Um the morn slavers in the sewers. Having a third party member also makes us a lot stronger, but... Wait, we've got more demolitions on... Alright. Got... Demolitions... Seven. It's a full length ten. I've got eight here. Alright, so we'll use her. To cover the mines, we can. Public soldier hanging out here, okay. Help, help me, please. I, I can feel inside my skin something growing like some kind of hideous disease. No, no, I can feel it. Okay. Ready. Right. right. On their own, they're not that tough. With us three there. So, uh -huh. what is this status effect? Where can I see that? Well, it's just these what? mines. of those Let's 
This is like the, the escape pod, but nothing... Nothing doing there, apparently. You can't even go in there. Hmm. I think it's something in the northeast, so... To do anything here okay hmm? just heal a little bit Can we take two rack balls There's actually three down there, that's a bit much. So many of them. Although when I go to the, to the sewers, I also have to deal with some of them. What's this then? Is this labors? to use this blaster if I have to. Settle down, kid. We've already lost enough men to those damn rat ghouls. The last thing we need now is more casualties from a needless firefight. Mm. By the looks of you, I'd say you're down here for the same reason we are. To salvage something from those downed Republic space pods. Let me give you some advice. Forget about it. Do yourself a favor and just head back from where you came. Mandalorians don't make threats. We make promises. But I'm just trying to give you a friendly warning. This isn't a good place to stand around chatting. The Undercity is crawling with rat ghouls. I've already lost a half a dozen men to those monsters. Candrus, I heard something. Over there, in the shadows. Sounded like a rat ghoul. Looks like we've got company. Get those blasters ready, boys. All right, let's start blasting. Yeah. How'd you like that? You asked for this. That was not very hard. Damn. I told Davik this salvage mission was a bad idea. His men aren't trained for this kind of thing, and I can't babysit them all. Okay, boys, we're getting out of here before I lose anyone else. I can't carry all this salvage back by myself. You'd be smart to get out of here as well. Even if you can handle the rat ghouls, I doubt there's anything worth finding anymore. Davik sent me down here with this motley crew to scavenge whatever we could from the Republic escape pods that crashed during the recent battle. You know that. But the lower city gangs got here first. Anything worthwhile in those Republic pods is probably in the... Okay. What are you, an off-worlder? Everyone knows Davik. He's a member of the Exchange. You know, the smuggling, gambling, extortion. Davik control... This isn't really the best place to have these kinds of conversations. The lower city is overrun with gangs. But the two most... In but lately, the Black Vulkers are... Take these escape pods... Okay, blah, blah, blah. Come on, boy. Right. What? What? Another rack wall? Far away. Remains. Ready. Wait, what? You just... Did you just randomly die? What? what? Mm -hmm. Some sort of mine or something I didn't see. Hmm. 
Oh, was she already so low HP or something? I don't understand. Can we, um... Turn to hide out? Alright, nice. It's back. Got a sewers. It's good. Huh? Go with her. Recover mine. That's a lot of rack walls. What? Ah. What? Now that. I think guys are just a lot weaker than the. Rack will be fight we fought earlier. Because I mean that one so much stronger. Take that. Yeah, actually hit this thing. There we go. Okay. I'm here. So let's free the Wookiee. Which one's got to come up closer? Ready. Down you go. You'll pay. All right, that was easy. I'm here. Hey there. What can I do? Okay. Okay. The save. Oh, that could be slight problem here. Ready? Yeah. That's not particularly strong. Now that must have hurt. Level up. Alright, so we already have a demolition sex, but we don't need demolition. Persuade is important. We also have a security expert, so maybe put some repair. Some computer. Like this. Beats. Okay. The bonus is not that important, I think. Saving throws, I think, is good. Make myself a bit tankier. Yes, yes, I remember. Now that must have been. 
Okay. That level up was was uh, was well timed. Hardly regular there's an implant, right? Already have one of those though. Ooh, motion detection goggles. Look at these. Awareness, demolition, security. Also plus two. We we'll give her the motion detection goggles. Got a blaster only. Do that much. What are her beats? Does we have many? Um, so we'll give her a better weapon. Master pistol, master rifle. Add chance of crit and more damage. Easy. You didn't think I'd forget about you. Mission and Zalbar together forever. <coughs> These are my new friends, Big Z. Without them, I could never have got you out. <coughs> You actually get to go to Tajik, I think, in this game. Or was it the second one? I think you get to go to the Key Home World. Big Z swearing a Wookiee life debt to you? Wow, this is major. Do you realize what it means? <laughs> I've always wanted the Wookiee slave. <laughs> Great, the Wookiee does not know the punk. So, I guess I still owe you one secret path into the Boca base. That was the deal, wasn't it? Don't worry, I know a backdoor into that scum den. I better come with you. The Volkers put up a force shield to keep the sewer dwellers out. I'm one of the only non-Volkers on Terrace who can get you past it. <laughs> 
I can't remember exactly how to get there, but I know it was somewhere here in the sewers. Over to the northeast, if I remember right. I just hope the Rancor monster isn't still there. There used to be a Rancor monster that made its nest in that part of the sewers. Pretty much eats anything it can get its Rancor is that sort of beast you, you saw at the, in, um, at the beginning of... Uh, um, Return of the Jedi. That uh, Luke fought. Okay, then off we go. Just look for the force shield, and we'll know we're there. Okay, now we need to decide who we want to take. We want Salba. Guess we have to take her. Right, let's let's take the, those two. A lot of XP. Wait, where? Wait, where did I come from? Okay, there were still some remains. Maybe not. It's just a new door. Can we explored? Can we return? I can return from here as well. Okay, so basically we can just always heal up during combat. Outside of combat, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, um, no, no, what? No, I want to fight, not talk. Come on. We have improved attack power. Do that. Right, that was not very hard. Items. The sewer door. Huh? Got you. Simple. He's got us. All right, Dracul fiend. So we don't go into that mine. No, um, really, no more convenient uh, way of switching between characters instead of just tabbing. <laughs> Ew! No wonder 
your breath is so bad, Big Z. Good morning, smell like Bantha Poodoo. We'll have to pick you up a toothbrush to clean that stench out of your choppers. <laughs> Okay, relax. No toothbrush. Sheesh. Just try and eat something else to cover up that smell, okay? Stay away from anything that's smart enough to lock you in a cage this time. And the people already, already, already said sheesh back in the early 2000s. The more you know. Items. What? Maybe we'll lead with him. I think he's gonna be tanky, right? 60 HP, 11 armor. Actually, not really tankier than my main character. Will we leave the sewers? No. I'm about to get through there. What? No. What? Let's go. Why? Where is she? What the freak? <laughs> these things, these guys are the fast anyway. Must have hurt. Okay, Big Z is a bit poisoned, but that's okay. Right, it's just dead end. This? We're getting so many mines. <gasps> Let me go. Perhaps I will go. We should be some sort of way of just like using a sniper shot by default. Kind of annoying, we also have to spam this shit. Alright, take that. Religion in this game is kind of weird. But you know, I, I can't walk like this. You know? I'm actually blocked. <laughs> I'm still blocked. I mean, the collision size of of the main character is like a huge box somehow. So weird. Can we return to hideout? Hands it back. Might as well just allow you to heal yourself out of combat. Have some sort of uh, fast region out of combat or something. If you can just return and and to heal because that then you get like two loading screens for no reason oh, huh? 
He's trying to melee. Oh, we can also activate that as one. That's good to know. Pretty rich. Yeah, I've got 640 credits and we can sell a lot of this stuff. We have all these mines as well we can sell. I thought we could use some of this mines as well for fighting, but as long as the fights are easy, I'm not doing that. Just remember that though for the hard fights that might come up. Have I been here now? Yeah. Come on, Chewbacca. Get in there. You'll never get me. Take that. Hello? Can you shoot? Never get her. All right, easy peasy. Level up. Girls. So this is a cross class. So like demolitions, we definitely want. Purity. And then sweet injury and then stealth, something like that. Okay. Beat with sneak attack three. Can I level up this? All right. Bills. Oh, the fuzzball also has uh, some demolition skills. Okay. Seven be our repairer. Beats. Um, what do we give him? We've got two levels in this. That's like a good, uh, good attack. We have this stuff. Extra toughness seems strong. So currently equipped weapon in combat, of course not use them appropriately. Use grenades. Uh, 
a droid support, lose force powers until they run out of force points, then they behave in the same manner as the support attack. Alright, I can't tell him to use anything. Okay, this is only the only three things. Okay, okay, okay. Some corpses to loot. Almost land journal. Okay. What is this? Long and difficult search to find the promised land, cleanse many half completed maps and cryptic notes. If, okay. Give all piece in the puzzle. Okay, whatever. Going more. Get okay, more minions. Their character is a little bit low. Yeah, I know. Come on, get items. Okay. Then we return to hideout. Turns it back. This is annoying. We have to constantly go back and forth here. What? This is what peak Koto gameplay looks like. More ghouls. Loot there. What is there? No. More corpses. Oh, we already were there. Did these guys respawn or do they, do they just move around? Or why, why were they here? Again. Really be focused down. I'm just gonna go back to the sewers. Just a flash wound. That's a hideout. Get back. I don't really want to get out here uh, anyway. Do we? Maybe that's the way to the to this. And it's focus fire. 
Yes, come on, but anyway. Yeah, we're winning, we're winning. She died from poison and now she's alive again. Why do they even take the poison damage outside of combat when you can't really die anyway? Like, why do you die from poison damage rather? Specifically. Antidote kit, beam splitter, heavy combat suit. Ooh, that's. Ah, they've got some Rackle serum here. Nice. Do we want a thousand credits or do we want to be nice? Okay, um, anything good to buy here actually? Not really. Actually, what can you equip as a Wookiee? What, what, are, what are my stats on this guy? We've got a lot of strength, very high constitution, clarity mediocre. We, we can't do this on a Wookiee, right? Um, oh, that's a... Okay, that's a belt. Use... Let's use this. And then we'll go here and get the cardio regu cardio regulator. A bit tankier. Let's visit the healer. Is the itchy? So, I think we're not going to go on for that much longer, but we'll be going on for like another ha half hour or something like that, before we call it a day. Um, is the healer here somewhere? Yeah, and we can also get the equipment emporium thingy. right away he was in trouble this was before the gang wars were out of hand but even then the Volkers were scum a few of them were hassling big z trying to pick a fight but he wasn't looking for trouble <laughs> hey nobody said the Volkers were smart but there were three of them so maybe they figured they could handle him i don't know anyway I don't like the Volkers at the best of times. And when I saw them picking on this poor Wookiee, all alone on a strange planet, overwhelmed by the big city, I just lost it. I screamed out, leave him alone, you poor slimes, and charged right at them. Well, 
One of them saw me coming and slapped me so hard he just about knocked me cold. Hey, I don't need a lecture from you. You ain't my mother. I knew what I was doing. Those Volkers didn't scare me. They're nothing but cowards. I knew how to deal with them. Of course, I never got the chance. I guess Zalbar didn't like seeing me get smacked around. He let out this howl and yanked that Volker a meter up off the ground and held him there by his throat. The other two screamed and ran off. Can't say I blame them. The first time you see an angry Wookiee up close, it isn't a pretty sight. I thought Zalbar was gonna rip that punk's arms off and beat him to death with his own fists. The Volker was so scared, he fainted. Or maybe it was Big Z's breath just knocked him out. <coughs> Sorry, Zalbar, but I keep telling you to brush those choppers once in a while. Why do you think I won't stand downwind when you're talking? Anyway, I knew those Volkers would be back with friends, so I grabbed Zalbar and we took off. Ever since then, we've been a team. We look out for each other, you know? He was fleeing some kind of trouble back on Kashyyyk. That's all I know, really. Big Z doesn't like to talk about it. In case you didn't notice, he's the strong, silent type. Doesn't much matter to me, though. I accept him for what he is, not for what he was. Me and Zalbar like to live in the present. Hey, what's that supposed to mean? You think I can't take care of us? In fact, I look out for Zalbar more than he looks out for me, you know? Yeah, I suppose you're right. Like I used to tell my brother. Fast talk and slick... My brother's a touchy subject, you know? It just so happens, I don't really feel like talking about him. Eh? So... We need, um... Bring a, a permacrete detonator, okay. Welcome to the... Because... Do they have this here? There we go. Okay, let's we actually buy this med packs cheaper in, in, in the sewers, I think. Whatever. Okay. Um where's the clinic? Over there. I guess we'll just do the Dukoda thing and give it to the doc.
You have the serum? Impossible. How did you get this? No, wait. I don't really want to know. Can... Can I see it? The serum, I mean? I need to see if there's enough for me to analyze it so I can start producing it in mass quantities. Hmm, let me see. Yes, this is... The people of Terrace owe you a debt they can never repay. Please, take this small room. I could give you a discount here at my shop in addition to the credits and med packs. Other than that, there is. I appreciate everything you've done. There are many. Now, is there anything else? Okay. Now, this is a hospital. I have a. Of course. Oh, regular med pack for 32. So we get like a 20% discount, I guess. It's discounted from 80. Implant. Right. You blew it. If you brought that rat ghoul serum to Zax, you would have made it worth your while. No. Okay. Uh, can we? No, we cannot return. Um, to go there manually now. I'm going to go to Papa City North, go through the sewers again. Again, we just talked to her. Oh my god, no. Um, City. A plague spreads through our streets. We cannot sit idly by while this book. Right. Let's go here for a bit. Are we doing this already? I guess we did. Now let's um, use the Use the sentry droid. How many parts do we have? Eleven. This we already did or not empty? Yeah. What? Oh. Let me not just not to aggro everyone. It's fine for our droid. 
just die already. Okay. Alright. Huh? Any extra stuff remains? Oh, that's some nice stuff. Jikin Lord Jawata Uma Gava. Okay, we'll help him. Take his own death. Tony Pudu Rana no Prata don't know Sarcha Echua Penki. Doesn't seem very safe to stand on the front of this pattern. Mucha shak pangpa. Inkin ku takum justak miki gravel mogo. Kachi chu aitha hodonga. Tong aitu am jiji yumalit pa. Okay, 480 XP. Not too shabby, another level up. Get some skills. Hey, I'm gonna be the computer gal. And I'll take this. Accept. Lower city. Alright, that's it. Okay, let's go to the Undercity. How can I set this thing? Maybe this is for force piles or something? I don't know. Hidden back. Mm. This here. More apartments, I think. We'll do these real quick. I've already seen this earlier. This is where I died earlier. Okay. Okay. 
Okay, got him. Take this apartment. Recover the mine, I think. Alright, well done mission. Oh, that's some nice stuff. More of these guys. You'll pay. Okay, remains. Anti shield, okay. Net packs are useful. Um, I still think there was some, something, something still here. Oh, that's nice. Got this already. Let me through, fuzzball. That's it. No, there's a supplies here. Oh, yeah, there's ra armor reinforcements. Right, I had that last time. What? This door we can open. Yeah. Let's see if we can. We'll recover the mine. He's here. We'll deal with everything that's outside here first. We knock down that door. So if we knock down that um, door, we'll heal up. Oh, let's see more walkers. Right. 
Das ist Horst aus mir weiß so. Das ist hier Combat Music. Just use. I'm here. Some um, advanced, some regular med packs, rather. Huh? There's even more of these guys. Where, where did they come from? Maybe once I've dealt with those, I can TP back. TP back to base. Remain still? Where? There we go. All right, we want a battle stimulant. Open the door. Done. Stop right there. You're a fool if you now you'll see why I. Okay, so we'll attack here. We'll do this here and then the fuzzball is going to do the improved power attack. Nightshade, yes. Good old potato stream. No, don't do this. Yeah. Easy peasy, easy bounty. Just love to adjust my settings there we go Ooh, she's got some nice stuff here okay Oh, she doesn't have any armor yet. Combat suit. Okay. Oh yeah, we did get this neural band. What is this? Um, saves. Will, okay. Like a willpower saves better. Why not? It's a clearly now Lorraine is gone. You say so. We'll equip those, but. Ooh, um, okay. Wow. 
what? All right. Um, get back to the sewers. I guess we can turn in the, the bounty real quick. While well, we're at it. Where's that slime ball? There he is. What is this? Matrix? Who is Matrix again? Is that the best we did earlier? Who's Matrix? Uh, completed quest. Okay, okay, okay. This is the guy we have earlier. Yeah, okay. Credits, not too shabby. Um, where do I get out? Not here. There we go. No, that's the wrong direction. Ah, oh, shit. Oh, wait. It's opposite here. This is lower city apartment. Yeah, we need to go in this direction. Pass the back hideout and then into the under city. Okay. 
vodka stream. Hey no. there, upworlder. You want to see what? This is actually cheap and only med packs. Let's buy some repair kits. All right. Now the rack pool has spawned. left you can just kill all the rackles up here not afraid of them anymore just that first one that was extra strong Fuzzball, get in there. You'll never get me. Huh? Right, you got them all. Now nice, some more. Sniper is really good. You'll pay. Take that. Ah, I don't want to do that. Intuitively, it feels to me as if um, you should be able to select uh, your party members by pressing one, two, and three, but that's not. Doesn't work like that. You best assume at that point that AJ hopefully at best that agility enslaves us. Um, I don't think that's a very. I don't think that that's uh, that's particularly likely. I mean, that's for example this sort of um, idea that okay, um, they they create some sort of AI and they have the bright idea that okay, um, we'll we'll just uh, you know give everyone an app where they can like rate the interactions with the AI and then you know train the AI to uh, do stuff that gets um, them upvoted, which of course might lead to the AI. Um, first, you know, doing useful stuff to get uh, upvotes, but then once it's powerful enough. Uh, just uh, take over the world and enslave everyone and force them to um, press thumbs up for um, you know 16 hours a day oh f f1 f2 f3 no it doesn't work either That's not the best hope. The best ho best hope is that uh, you know the model is wrong. That, um, huh? that it actually turns out that AI alignment is a lot easier than I think. So f f from from like the. 
from what I've looked into so far, like the people who are saying that AI alignment is really hard seem to be making a lot better arguments than the people who think it's easy. Um, but, you know, there, there, there are a lot of people who are in, sort of in the optimist camp who are like smart people who know a lot about the subject matter. So maybe I'm wrong. That's like, that's like my main hope. Um, two sewers. Okay. There's a force field there. Check it out. We've taken this already. Yes. How about that mine? Come on. I think I've been here already. So, um, we do this. What? I don't know why a less intelligent being would deserve to be an equal social footing, anyways. Well, I'd be happy enough. Uh, do not be killed or enslaved. You won't be able to get that computer to lower the energy fields unless you know the proper codes. Lucky for you, I've got them. I picked them off the pocket of a black Volker who had a little too much to drink in the cantina one night. Here, let me get that energy field down. And I'm assuming the machines never become more intelligent than us, which I think is wrong. Yeah, I, I think it's that that's clearly wrong like al already right now like at, at least in in the in the realm of um of you know uh reading and writing uh gpt4 is already smarter than humans right on 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 certain tasks you'll find certain humans who are better than gpt but uh, on the whole like no one has like close to the to the breadth of knowledge that, that gpt4 has and no one can can write as well about such a wide variety of topics. So, the idea that and that, that's like still so many improvements to be to be made, um, and the idea that like this is this, this is as good as it's going to get so that uh, is very implausible to me. All right, let's go. Flare, flare, flare. <laughs> oh my god. There you go. One, one, one. Not that most of the less intelligent beings we enslave particularly hate the enslavement. Same thing is for most human society. Well, it depends. Like, um, like if if you were like a a dodo, you might might think you know, oh, when when, when humans come to to Mauritius, you know, it's gonna be great for us. They're gonna uh, bring all that wealth, all that technology. Um, we we're, we're gonna have a great time. But you know, um, dodos, you know. Like their 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 values and ours were not aligned, so we just ate them all. Industrialization affects all negatively, generally speaking. I why? Yeah. 
combat controls in this game are really, really rather awkward. It's all this cons console nonsense. Enslaved bricklayers in the Middle East or in Africa? What, what do you mean by that? Do you mean like, like historically? Like what, what, what time period are we talking about? A red Kaczynski, but I don't think he's making too much sense. I think he really fa fails to appreciate how bad life was before industrialization. Because yeah. the problem, just fundamentally, is that you know, happiness is fleeting. Um, but suffering is more or less unlimited. And there used to be a lot of suffering for the average human. Um, and now there's, I think, quite a bit less. From my view, industrialization is like the best thing that's ever happened to humanity. It might unfortunately lead to our extinction by AI or by nuclear weapons or such, but you know, life before industrialization was pretty bad, so for, like for the vast majority of people. So I think it's still on that plus. Doesn't matter if agility gives us a post gas to utopia. I don't want to die. What? Of course, there's all these trade offs. I'm saying that, that there are no costs to industrialization, but I think they very much outweigh the downsides. Oh. And this is like obsession with pe many people to sort of look. Uh, almost exclusively at the downsides, I think it's rather obscene. Uh, why is she not attacking? She's locked or something? Okay, come on. There we go. Huh? Autonomy and fulfillment? Yeah, like most humans before industrialization had very little autonomy. Maybe you get a lot of autonomy and fulfillment if you're like, uh, um, if you're like a, a nobleman in your know, pre-industrial society. But for the vast majority of people, that's very little fulfillment, or um, or uh, autonomy to be had. He said, uh, assuming industrialization gives us something good, there will still be a lot of this bad stuff in between. I mean, sure, there's always bad stuff about everything, but as I said, in, in my view, industrialization or the industrial revolution is the best thing that's ever happened. And looking constantly at all the negatives is, I think, very inappropriate. Debit arm. Okay. 
Um, so that the pad seems to be detailed plans the hidden back had to get at the black walker base of the following we have synthesized a substance with an odor that resembles a favorite ray of rancors if you place the bait properly lure the rancor into a eating something lethal enough to kill it okay It's such a bad interface. Stupid console game. Um, I don't, I don't understand why people you know port games from console to PC. Why they don't just design an interface that makes sense on the PC? Like, why do we have to click through there multiple times to to get it to get it to show our items? Um. Okay. I guess we can get the ranker to eat a mine or something. All right. Give item. Oh no. What? Also bring as much money? I mean this brought a lot of money. It was very successful in PC. Uh what? Why is the screen black? What is happening? I am confused. I don't think this is supposed to happen. All right, let's, uh, let's sink. Come on, let me play. All right. Okay. So. Oh, there's already frag grenades there. Okay. Let's get items and then give item. Want some like? Can I not get a? Red grenades and such odor. Now it just goes black. Oh, okay. Then we get Scott scene. We we'll close this thing, okay? Or does the grenade go off when he eats this thing? Let me through. Like, this is so annoying. <laughs> Your own party members block you so much. What? Can I not loot this or anything? Okay. I can just destroy the corpse. Okay. What's the point of that? Okay. 
Why not Hero Scepter and Ghost Blade? I don't know. Why do we have an, have an item that, that's called plate mail? Is it plate or is it mail? Obviously a plate from the way it looks. Why did you call it mail? What? I don't have to answer those questions. No, I, I don't. I don't mean. I don't mean. I don't mean uh, blade mail. I mean that item kind of makes sense. I mean, um, I mean plate mail. At the the ten armor item. You know, plate and mail are two different types of items, or two different types of armor. I mean, you you could have some sort of armor that's. Partly plate and partly mail. You saw it a lot historically, but it would not be like one thing that uh, a, a plate mail would be plate armor with some mail underneath to cover some loose spots, like underneath um, like the armpits. Um, she's our computer gal. Lies into system. Okay. That didn't work. Even the cook is attacking us. I mean, I could just like run away or surrender or something, but now everyone always wants to fight to their death here. But of course, from a gameplay perspective, it makes a certain amount of, su of, of sense. It'd be annoying if I want to run away. But, of course. That would make a lot more sense. We talked about this earlier, like uh, at, at a previous stream, like the Arcalos stuff. So the problem is just that uh, in, in this game is that you just get XP from killing people, so uh, you don't want it to run away. Yeah, if you want to change that, you would have to change the way um, experience is... is uh, you have to change the way experience is awarded to give it more experience for like just quests instead of for you know killing stuff um so we'll give her security we'll give her demolitions awareness stealth and we have another point which we'll is just keep All right we accept level him up skills um, he's our repair guy. Right, accept. What? Okay, we cannot return here. Right, shoot that up. What does blue shirt Yongon mean? Nothing. It's kind of like blue. And I bought like 
a lot of these shirts just like I bought like 10 um, dark blue and like 10 light blue it was cheaper and then I don't have to think about what to wear um, we need a, someone who actually knows computers all right system order accepted um, access security cameras Right, is it actually useful? Okay, open all security doors. Not bad. Um, load area schematics. Like to a minimap or something. Uh, what? Oh, uh, uh, wait! I ex exploded myself or something with the overload thing. What? Uh, okay, that just happened. How is that a thing? I can just kill everyone from full HP. It looks rather sad. What? Okay. Why is it even an option to like just kill yourself? Were my shirts manufactured in China? I don't know. Huh? Um, we had some sort of. Yeah, we want to get this military suit that requires medium armor. What about our main character? But, oh, we already have this. Exactly the same as what we already have. Heavy combat suit is like. Wait, heavy combat suit is light armor? What? Okay. Um, maybe already had that. Oh, okay. He actually surrenders. Wanga kun biskin ba mulira. Wanga kun biskin. Takum justak miki gravel mogo. Kachi chu aitha hodunga. Tulpa da bonk mwal. Kachi chu aitha hodunga. In King Kuno Bamuli Rachi Kun Slim Takum Justak Miki Gravel Mogo Kachi Chu Aitao Dunga Tulpa da Bonk Molia Gando da Tung Hai Tuam Gigi Yumalit Pa Ang Ninkotu Kachi Chu Aitao Dunga Okay, hmm. 
targeting laser cannons. Need a pass card, okay. Thanks to the main computer bank in the front of the base. Okay, ask you something else. Looking for a prisoner, a woman named Bastila. Uh, he's got a stash to raise on myself. Some safe. Oh, now I understand the Arculus comments because he's talking in language you don't, you don't speak. Okay. Sounds Slavic at all, but what, what uh, he's speaking there. Um, okay. Small losses. Some more. Also healing. At least he's there. Okay, now we run. Oh, not that way. How do I get out of here? This is where this is the main control room. To the sewers. I need to turn around. Go left, and then right, and then left again. Okay. What? Take that. They're too far away. Can we salvage this somehow? Okay, this thing is really strong. Okay, yeah, we can't salvage this. Um, load? Uh, 
Uh, it's this guy again. What a woman. Have I seen Rise of Empires? Uh, what is that? Shield up. And we'll face these guys. What? Take out the other guys first. first what? there's even more guys like there I'm not familiar with that video game These lieutenants both shielded up, so we'll go for, for this one first. All right, use this again. Baka is almost dead again. Use another shield. Oh, he's dead. Um, okay, I need some different approach here. Um, yeah, I'll think about that next time. Um, I think it was been streaming for a long time already. Um, it's been, I think, almost six hours. So, yeah, it's gonna be it for today. And yeah. Stormgate's gameplay. True, true, true. So, um, yeah, I'm gonna stop streaming and I'll see you on uh, Wednesday. Goodbye.